Beach. Bro Sanchez, you got the story right. And now I see yeah. Bro Sanchez, just one who's out there in the fight to teach. Bro Sanchez, you got the story right, and now I see. Peace and much love and welcome back. If you can hear the sound of my voice in the chat room, let's go ahead and start with a tech check, mic check, and get it out the way. Drop a one if you can hear me. We just coming back from Flat Power, and we got the news out that there's a particular individual who seems to be irate with Brother Sanchez for whatever reason, but we're going to be letting you guys know what we got for you today here. We're going to be letting you guys know what we got. We got, we got a review to do. Let me cut my cam. Let me cam up. Salutes, everybody. Salutes. I haven't saw the video, so I'm going to be doing a reaction review and see what he's talking about. Um, so let me let you know what's going on. So this channel is called Chrome TV. Now, I, I was going to ignore him. But my people was like, you know what? Fuck that. Give him the smoke, man. And so check this out. This channel is called Crom TV. I've been over here before. Right? I can show you. And I don't have no problems with Crom TV. And I don't know if he... And, and here we go right here. The video I Look did with him. I did a video with him. And it was very respectful. Good energy. Um, one mind going back. You know, is what I was thinking of myself. But um, what I want to say is this. I don't have no smoke with Chrome TV. And out of the blue, Chrome TV just decide to attack me. And I'm like, for real? Like me and him on good terms. Now, I will say one thing. Ever since the nature boy shit, a lot of it's been a lot of like hidden tension among brothers because what y'all don't know right there's a lot of brothers that rock with nature boy okay and brothers had told me they was like look man you going at nature boy but crumb tv fucks with nature boy and i was like well if crumb tv fucks with nature boy i don't rock with him then and uh, I said that on the live stream. So uh, in my mind, I'm thinking this is why Chrome TV is mad. Because other than that, we don't have no beef. But I did see the link they sent me. They said he talking crap about me. So I'm going to respond to it because I did a voting. I did a voting poll. And my people was like, man, entertain your haters for a minute. Fuck that shit. You know, he giving you smoke. Give it back. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I got a little creative with my thumbnail, with the bomb TV. But I think his little shot that he took at me was is way more disrespectful than that. Because the shot that he took at me was, um he called me the ops. The ops. 
Mm. So this is what I'm going to do, man. The brother calling me to opt up out the blue when me and him just did a video together and he was giving me all kind of props and shit. So it goes from props to ops. Props to ops. Props to ops, son. <laughs> it, you do, that's called wishy-washy, flim-flammy. Because I'm talking about a brother that know my email, a brother I got respect for, a brother that, guess what? I'm going to actually be respectful or try to, I ain't going to lie. Because depending on what he's saying, I'm going to turn up. Depending on what he's saying and how he's saying it, man, and his approach to his disagreement, it's going to determine how bad I roast him or not. So let the motherfucking show begin. Crumb TV, you started this shit. I'm going to end it. Wow. People sent me the link, and I scanned through the video and saw you over here, you know, on your uh, this time. And I'm like, damn. And this brother, we cool, right? Okay. Wow. Okay. A lot of it just shows you like a lot of dudes will be doing videos with you in YouTube, man. And they'll be like, uh oh, bro Sanchez, man, my brother, all this stuff. And deep inside, they'll be secretly hating you. You know how they said some people want to be close to you just so they can stab you in the back? This is why I don't really trust a lot of people, too, man. Because I'm telling you, this brother went from props to ops. This brother was giving me props. How long this video was ago? Let me go look at it real quick. This was 11 months ago. You was giving me props. Now today, I'm the ops. Damn. Let's hear what he's saying, though, Let with no further ado. And... I don't know exactly when he started or if the whole video is about me, but we'll see. Let's start from the beginning. Let's play it in 125. Peace, peace, family. This your boy, Young Pharaoh, and you are now watching Crumb TV. This is Daniel, LOLJK, and you're now watching Crumb TV. Hey, this is Reggae Boy, and I'm watching Crumb TV. Watching Crumb TV? You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Miss Diva, and you are watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Lady Lee from Las Vegas. You are now watching Crumb TV. I love this shit. I'm watching right now. This is the real Remy Brad, and I support Crumb TV. This is IG No Play Zone. You are now watching Crumb TV. Hey, this is Reggae Boy, and I'm watching Crumb TV. You're now watching Crumb TV. I'm here rocking with Crumb TV. Peace. Crumb. If you could, please repeat after me. And here we go. Namaste. Chippy wa chippy wa, how you doing? What up, my nigga? Aloha, ibe ya emeye. A fake ass nigga with your sad music on, like you the victim and like you're some so nigga. Who made you the judge with them dingy ass dreads? You gonna get the roast today? I already feel it, son. <coughs> you gonna get it. Today. You, Peace. You got some nerve, son. Ashe Islam See what I'm saying? Hallelujah Shalawam He gonna give you everybody greeting that You might be a bird So you know Everybody just get a greeting Like dude this is a way I hate folks that open up their shows with, with all that shit Okay come with me bow your head Jingle bells playing in the back, fake ass. Nigga, that's why folks fuck with me and not your fake dingy dread ass. Because whatever you over here saying about me, my spirit telling me you a hater, son. Because I never done that to you and we was on good terms. And now you over here with a little funny clips. You got a pack in your back. And son, you done barked up the wrong tree. Let's go. Namaste. Hotel. Will you fucking stop already? Roof, roof. We're going to speak to the dogs and shit. Grand Rising. How you doing? Hootie hoo. 
who was that? <laughs> who put that shit in the chat room? <laughs> you fucking crazy. <laughs> Y'all are fucking just as crazy as me. <laughs> This is why you don't want to beef with me or none of my people over, man. This ain't the shit y'all really want, bro. This shit too real for YouTube, Ninja Dreads. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Dude, all them greetings and here go the roast, right? Okay, let me stop. I'm going to save my, my bullet right here for a minute. Hold on. Bundia. What the fuck, Kumabia? Who the fuck you speaking to there? That's the, what the fuck? Kumadia. Are you kidding? Don't say yo. Sonic Boom. Salito. Salito, nigga, that's a rapper who made whipping Nay Nay. Did that nigga just say Salento? Wigwam. Wigwam? Wigwam. Hmm. Damn, son. Damn, son. And y'all be fake as hell because you can't speak them people languages. You just learned every nigga's greeting. And you forgot the Jamaicans. You didn't, I, you didn't give me not one head man. Head man. <laughs> it should have been namaste. Wigwam. Head man. Like if you gon' if you gonna get them, then you got to get them all. Oh, come on, nigga. What up, though? Walk a bet. Walk a bet. Damn. Sock passe. Sock. What the fuck? And, and the and the piano in the background is hella weird with it. And can we get a what up, my nigga, in the midst? Just one, but you know. How are the children? Bonjour. Can we get a yoga flame? That man, bonjour. This is fucking great. Whoever is going for this Cleo to Patrick ass vibe, you're not a real one, dude. Come on back to earth, man. This nigga is too big on a high horse. He think he's sad guru, but he's really happy guru. Like I was saying about nature boy. These wanna be sad guru niggas coming with that sad guru energy. And they trying to come off as sad guru, but it's always happy guru. Konnichiwa, shalom. Salam. Can we stop with the greetings already? I'm sure you got everybody that's watching your channel, man. It's not going to fucking be it. God damn, nigga. You need a universal remote for all these greetings, like a one that fit all. What up, though? You already did the what up, though. Whatever the greeting is in your respective language. But no, nigga, you forgot my Atlanta nigga. Hey, shawty. That's, that's how I know you ain't a real one. You didn't even fuck with my New Orleans nigga. Whoa there. I am your humble brother Crumb, the master student, here for another installation of Crumb TV. Hold on, man. Let me shut my door. This is going to be all right, bro. All right. I see what But before I get to all of that, I want to do what I do best, and that's put some respect on your name by acknowledging the first responders. Um, this is just too much of fucking, yeah, nothing. Hold up. Let's skip forward. The moderator put some respect on her name. She says, what up, though? Um, so uh, with that said, I want to remember now. <laughs> um, yeah, your boy been taking shots at me and saying a bunch of stuff. and. How have I been taking shots at Crump? Have anybody heard me mention this man's name? Have anybody heard me? I've been taking shots at him. Have anybody heard me mention this man's name?
Hell no, really? bro. This is fucking crazy. I haven't even been thinking about Chrome TV, but let, maybe he'll tell us what the shots are. Blah, 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 this and that, uh, yada, yada. And um, I was quiet for the most part. Uh, so I uh, I decided to retaliate. I'm going to make an official statement about him, towards him. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll say some things that, you know, him and I have talked about behind the scenes. Uh, I do know him personally, off camera. You don't know me at all. This is bullshit. I don't know this dude. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. This man said he know me personally off camera. I swear to God, I never talked to this man other than emails and to do a flat earth show with him. These dudes be weirdos. And he's selling tickets to this shit. Boy, he got deep. Bro, I respect the hustle, but I don't respect it. You could have get, come on, this your hustle, bro? So you're going to charge these people for tickets to get them some secret information like you know me. I don't know you, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> This nigga is a real stalker. This is weird. I never had no shit happen like this before. This nigga said, I do know him personally, off camera. Nigga, you don't know shit about me. At all. Nothing. This is weird, yo. Hey, yo. This is fucking crazy. Crom TV is weird than a motherfucker. It's like he was trying to get you to talk about him. Bro, I swear Just to God... Around. The only dealings I ever had with Chrome TV was, hey, arranging emails to uh, do the Flat Earth show. And, mm. and, and you know what's crazy? Let me see something real quick. I'm supposed to do anything for Cloud TV. Real. Yeah, it's crazy. I never had this happen. The music in the background, though, bro. Why this nigga? <laughs> the music seems like he about to tell some deep shit. <laughs> that man said, "I know him personally off camera." Now watch this, right? Wow. This is this the only way. And see, receipts rule the world, right? Receipts mm -hmm. rule the world, right? Now he's saying he know me personally off camera, right? I'm gonna show you if he knew me personally off camera. Why we setting up shit on? Gmail. Everybody know niggas you fuck with like that. You can just call me and we set the show up. You can call my phone and we will set it up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So my thing is, he's a brother that I don't know past YouTube and don't and being on his channel talking about Flat Earth right here. Let me uh, cut the chat room off so I can show my receipts. You feel me? I was over yeah, there... But let, let me do the review real quick. Mute up for one second. Appreciate y'all brothers for being here. I got to get the receipts out. So check this out, right? You can see Chrome TV came looking for me. I didn't come looking for him. You feel me? Look at this. I got the receipts, y'all. It, it, all I got to do is go to my email and search your name, dummy. New comment on your post. Look at here. What did this say? Uh, let me go back to my shit here because I want to see what all I'm saying boom what is this Chrome TV okay here we go this is when we set the joint up he said here, here go the initial email he gave me his number but I didn't call that nigga <laughs> and that's probably why he mad some of these niggas just got it bad. You got it. You got it bad. These niggas just, you got it bad. You sent me your number like a, a thirsty bitch, and I didn't call your ass. So so this, is, this show y'all niggas be full of shit because you reached out to me, nigga. I, I was doing my own thing, nigga. And this shit here said, peace, bro, Sanchez. I have 33,000 subscribers on YouTube and 74,000 followers on Facebook. I would like to invite you on my podcast called Crumb TV. The show is one hour. You can talk about whatever you want. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. So, he said, are you available Sunday at 7 p.m.? 
If so, I will have my flatter partners go lie with you. So he talked about his flatter partners. It turned out, look, let me show you what that meant, right? This is what it meant. You see here, which part is it? Okay, right now, okay, fuck it. We, we can go into it. your flatter partners. I'm thinking maybe you had, he, he was thinking about bringing somebody on. Maybe this ain't the show. But nevertheless, that's neither here nor there. The point is, this was good energy. He said I was taking shots at him, but he didn't tell the people what shots I took. I ain't been thinking about this man. I ain't been thinking about this man. And anybody that follow me know I haven't mentioned Crumb TV's name. He know that. I ain't mentioned his man name. But I'm going to mention it now. Because he could have emailed me. And then you over there lying to people selling them tickets with my face on the ticket. Getting money off me. Telling them you know me personally and you finna leak some kind of, you got something to tell. See, that's the kind of shit that's just a hustle and scam. And I may pay for one of the tickets just so I can get that information to have on hand for my peoples to, uh, to see how we can, you know, get paid with you, my nigga. After all, I mean, you, 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 I'm on the card. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So check this out. Crumb Snatcher is his email name. We don't motherfucking snatch crumbs. We bake cakes over here, nigga. You crummy ass, bummy ass nigga. In my emails and DMs and shit, reaching out when you really got secret hate. I'm tired of niggas like that. And nigga, no, I ain't been thinking about your ass. Why would I, nigga? Why would I? I'm the type nigga that's thinking about my next Elon Musk documentary. My next Billy Carson documentary. My next mother presentations on niggas like that. If I'm going to be putting a nigga name in my mouth, let me talk about Joe Rogan. You think Trump TV is in my lineup? If you go to my channel, I'm calling out Trump. I'm calling out Monsanto. I'm calling out the big boys. I'm not thinking about bomb TV, nigga. You, you don't oblige yourself. You, you thinking too much of yourself. If you think you and Sanchez mine, nigga. Been thinking about you, nigga. You want me to think about you. Now you got my attention, son. So check this out, right? People can see. My only contact with you was via email and us setting up a show. And after that, I ain't even mentioned your ass no more outside of what I just said. When I went in on Nature Boy, somebody got on my channel and guess what they said? They said, Sanchez, you going in on Nature Boy, but that's Crom TV homeboy. And I, and I had to stand firm on my word like a man. I fucks with Crumb TV, but if he rocks with Nature Boy, I can't rock with him. And I moved on. That made him made him mad. I don't care. I don't. Uh, I don't rock. We gotta have standards and barriers in our community, bro. I don't care if that's your homeboy. But let's go though. Let's go. He he does know me personally off camera. He's been on my channel. So all that's lies. Channel before. Uh, I've been on your channel, but all this we know each other personally. You don't you couldn't even tell them folks my favorite color or favorite food right now, nigga. Like to say you know a man personally when all we did was talk on email and Gmail, that's something that desperate women do when they want to be attached to a fly nigga. Now tell me I'm like in the chat room, ain't that some whole shit? Ain't that some real whole shit? Well, y'all niggas exposing y'all selves. Like, like you want to be attached to a nigga that bad. I do know him personally. You know, his mama made my birthday cake last year. And his wife know my first name. Nigga, you don't know shit about me. Lying to these people, selling them these damn uh, grifting ass tickets. You crumb snatcher, let's go. I've shown the brother love. I don't know why he attacked me. Um... If I attacked you, can you show the people how? If I, listen. If I attack Crom TV and he show the receipts, I'm going to apologize, dude. Because guess what, nigga? My memory bad. I be drinking. <laughs> I be smoking. I admit to it. And I'll apologize to that man. But if he think it's an attack because what I say about the nature boy stuff, 
I'm going to stand on that. Outside of that, I don't remember attacking him no way. But guess what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he can show me, man, you said fuck Chrome TV. Because sometime I be turning up and forgetting, nigga. I be going live for hours. So I'm going to keep my ear open and give him the benefit of the doubt. Because he might got some receipts. And if he do, I'll apologize. Um, You know, I put in a substantial amount of work. I don't know why he doubt me. Um, You know, I've, I've, I've done as much as I could do. But, you know. I don't understand what he talking about. I hope he shows some receipts. The family still want to, you know, look at me sideways and cross me. But listen, that's the community that we in. So, you know, I ain't never scared of nobody. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a come at my brother and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But I do got to set him straight. I'm not saying the world is not flat. But I will say this. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. I do know that. The man came on my channel. He said, he's not saying the world ain't flat, but I got it wrong. It's easy for a man to say a man got it wrong when I made it my whole career with my research. And you won't debate me. That's what I'm saying. To just go over there and say I got it wrong versus prove me wrong. It show what kind of nigga you is, man. I'm not saying the earth ain't flat, but he got it wrong. But you ain't even saying the earth flat. So you got it wronger. If you ain't even teaching flatter, because you over there teaching some pseudo Anunnaki Atlantic, you know he on that kind of shit, I'm thinking. Think he one of them. And that's probably what got to him. And he probably think I'm subliminal shooting at him. I don't know what he thinking, but I hope he show. But one thing is, if you got smoke with me for flat earth, that's easy, nigga. All you had to do was email me. And we could have set up a show and did the smoke and had it moderated and did the back and forth, nigga. If you got smoke with me about flat earth, you showed and show it when you was in front of me on this motherfucker. You had the utmost respect for a nigga. I hate chameleon ass niggas, bro. I hate chameleon ass niggas. If you telling me I had it wrong, you didn't correct me when I was on your channel. You didn't want, you didn't have that energy then. If this is all about flat earth, brother, we can do that. Like, why do you got to make that into a beef and all the disrespect? See, this is why I'm going to roast you. Let's go. And did a presentation and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to give you no details. I'll give you the details this Sunday when I talk about it on Zoom. When I talk about it on Zoom, I'll give you the details of what happened behind this. So he going to talk about it on Zoom on Sunday, right? But. He's, if I'm not mistaken, this is a ticketed event. I don't know how you get 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 to it or whatever. But anyway, let's go. The scenes when he came on my channel. I'm not going to promote his damn griff. Uh, uh, Saucy Santana. When Saucy Santana came on my channel, I'm going to tell you what happened behind the scenes. Oh, Saucy Santana. Now I got to get you now. Let's tell him what happened behind the scenes and then I'm going to get you. This Sunday. Not only am I going to air him out for speaking my name, I'm going to air some other people out. A lot of things that I don't be saying, but I be seeing, I'm going to speak on it. And a lot of people who I be doing stuff, sneak dissing and all this other stuff, I'm going to address. Sneak dissing. That's what I'm saying. I don't sneak this. Everybody know that I'll call you straight out. You got me all fucked up, dude. You ain't nobody to sneak this, nigga. A nigga like you, I would never sneak this online or offline, nigga. Like, Chrome TV don't know what kind of nigga I am, dude. Fuck wrong with you for real, though. Hey, man, I know one thing. You call me Saucy Santana, right? That's cute. But, nigga, your breath literally smell like pee-pee, dog. This is not a game. This is not a game. You got jokes, I got them too, right? We can all play like that, right? I'm Saucy Santana, right? Cool. Check it out. You pee-pee breath, nigga. You pee pee breath, nigga. Even Saucy Santana breath don't smell like pee pee. You the type weirdo that's over there drinking your piss, nigga. A dingy headed piss drinking, nigga. Talking, she got some nerve to talk about me. When you're urinating out of your penis, son, and drinking it back into your mouth like we in a post apocalyptic mad match type of motherfucking situation, son, you a fool. You niggas is over there. Drinking pee, eating your boo-boo, 
eating your boogers. All this shit that's secreted out of your body is waste, son. Any type nigga that'll drink his own piss, nigga, I, if you come in my face talking and I smell piss on your bro, I'm going to walk off, bro. I wouldn't even want to deal with a nigga like you in real life. I, I'm, I don't deal with PP, bro. Son, I don't got time for a nigga that drink his own piss. You, two, you one day away from sucking your own dick. That's got to be some kind of gate. I got, that's a pause. You, dude, you acting like the work, nigga. We're not in the end of days yet. Why are y'all drinking y'all piss, son? A nigga who breath smell like pee pee can't say nothing to me. Son, stay in your lane, son. Use a dingy, bummy, piss drinking nigga. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't through with you, though. All of that. So this Sunday, Crumb TV presents The Ops. March 24, 24 on Zoom. I'm going all the way in like somebody left the door open. I'm not playing with nobody. Yeah, you playing with me, nigga. This is all internet because I like how you sound, but you know I be offering niggas boxing matches too, son. <laughs> yeah, we can both get paid for this shit, nigga. When you come to Vegas, win or lose. Nick, you niggas is internet niggas with grips. I knocked dude I would out. bet 10,000 on, on Bro Sanchez out. on that one. <laughs> Man, a nigga who drink his own piss can't be mentioning my name with pee pee breath. You can't be saying my name with pee pee breath. That's disrespectful. This nigga wake up in the morning and say, oh, he pisses in a cup and then down that shit and just wash it down with eggs and bacon. Like, what the fuck, nigga? I drink coffee in the morning. You drink pee pee. Let's go. Let's go, pee pee, bro. Don't, don't, don't say that in my room, please. Pee pee, bro. You know I'm the wrong nigga to play with, don't you, pee pee, bro? Pee pee, bro. That's your name now, nigga. Pee pee, bro. Let's go. You got to say it fast, man. It can't be like pee pee, bro. No, nigga. That's pee pee, bro. Come on. And he took it in there anyway. European Jesus. Uh, yeah, so with that said, um, Tap all the way in this Sunday. I'll uh, address and I'll play the clip of you know. nigga. If you want to, I I will buy a ticket to see you wash down a whole flask of your own piss in a in a in a in a in a steel flask. In a flat nigga, I will give your bummy ass two hundred dollars, and I'm gonna ship you a flat power flask, and you drink your piss out of it and say flat power, nigga. At the end of that shit, nigga. Piss drinking ass, nigga. Where do you drink that piss out of? I drink it out of a holy grail cup. That's what that nigga said. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got... Nigga, if you got something on me, expose that shit publicly in front of everybody. Why you selling tickets? People ought to know that's a scam. People ought... How you exposing a nigga behind those on a ticket? No, you do that publicly, nigga. See, that's what I'm saying, nigga. That's a grift. You know what he was saying? Come on over here so I can show you what I'm saying and make sure you're there and, you know, come on in. You know, yeah, we see it. And about me, and I'll address what he said about me. And, um, you know, I'll give you my thoughts on my side of it. But um, tell him what I said, him And a bro. couple other people that I toss up this Sunday. So um, tap all the way in. Why won't he just say what a nigga said? This is messy stuff. And you're lying like you know me personally and shit. And you saying niggas is taking shots at you. Bro, I don't take shots. I call niggas names. What make you think I'm going to be... Listen, y'all. I call niggas names like Sarnetta, Jabari, Young Pharaoh, Sarah Sudan said it. I even call out Professor James Smalls. I even said Dr. Francis Cress Wilson ain't right about what she was teaching and I debate her. What make him think I'm so scared of him, y'all? <laughs> what makes Crumb TV think I'm going to be subliminal about him, but I call Minister Farrakhan out in front of everybody? <laughs> see, see, Crumb, this could have all been settled, son. And I would have told you if you would have reached out to me on an email, oh, no, my brother, ain't nothing but love for you, man. 
And matter of fact, I'm going to shout you out on my next show. I would have proved to you ain't no smoke or nothing. And if you would have been like, what you meant by this? Is that a subliminal to me? I would have answered you. I ain't got no subliminals for you, uh, bro. If I had some with you, I'd call you out, man. But before I do that, I would email you and offer and see if I can come on your show with the smoke and, you know, moderate it and, and like we did, with, you know, and do another appearance. But, yeah, you didn't handle this right. You didn't handle it like a man. You handled it like a bitch. And that's why I'm going to roast you. So let's go. And for that. So with that said, stay woke. That's right, family. All right, so, uh, you know, that's my little intro. The intros from now on are going to be, like, say, 10 minutes long instead of the five minutes. So um, get used to that. Shout out to the whole family. I don't know what's going to happen with this movie, The Magical Negro. I'm not really excited about it, uh, excited about it, but, you know. If it Dude, you're a fucking weirdo and a nothing burger with no swag and just boring, and you're a hater, nigga. And I'm going to call it how it is. Now let's go through this PP Drinker channel. Let's go through PP Drinker. PP punch. You know, everybody else was talking about PPP loans and that nigga was talking about PPP and he was talking about PP punch. PP punch. Y'all want to hear this nigga why he drank his PP? We don't want to hear you talk for 30 minutes while you drink the, the urine out of your dang lane, son. You're nasty. And if you got a woman, she's nasty. You, you give your own tongue a golden shower. I want to do you goggle with your pee pee. All of you pee pee players can't play with me, man. All of you niggas that's making pee pee punch in the morning need to leave me alone with that urinade that you drinking on. So I like lemonade. I like lemon, preferably strawberry lemonade. You know, strawberry lemonade's the shit. You know, it's, it's some great Kool Aid with the lemon packed together. But no, we gonna do no pee pee punch. We can't do no urinade. We can do Gatorade. Hand that nigga one of them Powerade, baby. We can't hand that. No, we don't have, we don't serve pee-pee punch here, nigga. Get the fuck out my store. Nigga coming in here asking for pee-pee punch and breath smelling like urine. Let's go, son. Pop off. Stupid. Any man that will drink his own pee-pee is stupid, son. Stupid. Nature wanted that to come. That's why it's so far away from your mouth. Anything below the waistline, pee pee boo boo, you don't supposed to be drinking your sweat. None of that shit. Anything secreting off your body, man, let the earth have that shit, man. Get that shit to the toilet. You don't need that pee pee, you bum. Come on, son. <laughs> you can't collect everything, damn, nigga. You a nasty nigga. Pee pee and dandy hair and just no hygiene, no grooming. You know, like niggas like him get dreadlocks because they really don't want to keep themselves up. And he make dreadlocks look real dingy and dirty. Just you just look like a just a lousy, slothful, stanky nigga though. <laughs> Your dreads don't hit me as Rasta. It hit me as body odor. I know that's some body odor over there. I know his breath smell like pee pee. I know he put uh, lemons in his armpits because he don't use deodorant and stuff like that. He rocking with the nature boy shit. He smell like he with melanation, son. Go to the left. That's your tribe over there, son. <laughs> Gonna learn and leave me alone, boy. Because I'll do you like this on the internet however you want it, son. I'm built like that, son. I'm, and I'm about all the shits now. I'm just ain't about the pee-pee. <laughs> Give me that boo-boo. Give me that pee-pee. Ass nigga. For trifecta, it is my good brother, my man, 100 grand, Bruce Lee Roy. No, just Bruce Lee. Uh, I'll just Dude, look at them dreads, man. You look like Medusa a little bit, nigga. Like, that shit look like you been shocked because that shit look fuzzy with little balls on the top. And them balls is like some, get you know, when shit get dried up in your beard. Like, I can tell your hair stink. Bro, I know your hair stink. And I know your breath smell like urinate. And Tic Tacs can't help a nigga after you done been drink, drinking your piss for so long, nigga, don't you know you drinking ammonia? I, I want y'all to listen to me for a second. Anybody know 
who got a baby with a pamper on, the stench of ammonia is like, oh my fucking God. Anybody know nature put that in there saying, don't drink that, man. Stay away from that. That's why your boo-boo stink. Why you think your boo-boo smell the way it smell? Nature telling you with odors, you don't want to eat that. If a motherfucker can eat their own boo-boo, nigga, they got to go through so many odor barriers that nature put up to keep you away from it. You got to be a special weirdo because you got to cut, you got to eat it with your nose pinch. Like you got, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> like nigga, a, a nigga handing me a cup of my own piss, the stench of ammonia, and I got the downness. I'm good. Nigga, please st- keep my name out your mouth and keep that pee pee in your mouth. Son, I don't care how much urine you want to put in your mouth. Just don't put my name in your mouth, man. You're a pee-pee drinker. Let's watch your video. Peace, Facebook. Um. You know, if you drink in your pee, we know you're going to eat your doo-doo one day. Hey, man, if a nigga make a video and say it's proteins and boo-boo. See, they don't want the black man to know it. But white folks been eating boo-boo all the time. See, that's the, these kind of niggas. They say shit like, <laughs> see, white folks been drinking they piss, and we've been calling them cavemen. Give me a cup of that piss. You've been keeping the black man away from this secret. <laughs> me some of that piss. Jackie, give me my flask. Drinking piss out of a whiskey flask, son. You that type nigga. <laughs> you, you ain't the type nigga that just drank piss. He the type nigga that's going to break out a whiskey flask out of his mouth. Son, son. <laughs> son, son, I'm going to do it to you, son. You don't play with a nigga like me, son. I'm going to get you, boy. I'm going to get you good now. I'm going to get you good. Come on now. All right, so this is why I drink my urine. This weirdo got a 30-minute video of why he drank his urine. And I'll be the silly nigga that'll mail that nigga a whiskey flask and say, bro, if you drink that piss out of this whiskey flask, I'll cash up your bummy ass $200 right now. <laughs> I just want to see you do it. Nigga, this is fucking funny, son. You don't play with a nigga like me. I'm going to mop my flow with you, though. I'm not done because you, you still played with me, boy. Let's go. Um. You got this man, but what kind of, what, please, nigga, PP breath, PP breath. Stop mentioning my name, PP breath. Stop it, PP breath. You know I won't, man, if, if, that, if that nigga invited me to his house, I'm not eating shit. I'm not drink. Don't offer me nothing. You want a cup of water? PP punch, I'll punch you in your face. You better not offer me nothing. Because when you open up your refrigerator and I see your piss next to the milk, I don't want none out of your fridge. Because I swear, y'all, them niggas be putting their piss in the refrigerator. That was a good batch of piss right there. We can't throw that away. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't drink all that piss. Now, they said you got to drink that piss at the body temperature as soon as it come out of you, like tea, like coffee, you know, hot. So my thing is some pee-pee punch, right? My thing is this right here, son. When you save that pee-pee in a jar and put it in the refrigerator, right? Right? Do you got to boil it to get it back hot? Because we, that's what I do with my coffee. You know, I ain't going to lie. I save my coffee sometime when I brew up a big cup and I ain't drank it all. You could put that in the refrigerator. You can warm that coffee back up in the microwave, son, and it'll it'll hit just the same. But I want to know what that pee-pee hit just the same, son. Uh, son? Son? A, a guy that, that teaches his followers to drink their pee-pee, they can't mess with me, son. We already know what lane you in. You over there with the boo-boo eaters, son. That's where you stand. Son, stand over there because every I know retarded folks that eat they boogers, they eat they boo-boo, smear it in their own face, and then they drink they pee-pee. You ain't retarded, son, and you over there eating your pee-pee and, and eating your boo-boo. 
this consciousness shit and made y'all retarded. Y'all are boo-boo eating, pee-pee drinking Egyptian niggas. <laughs> Ah, yo, son, son, use a boo-boo eating, pee-pee drinking, shallow arm talking niggas, son. This is, son, this is madness, son. And look at your hair, boy. Son, no. All right, so, first we have to understand the lies, because. Oh, no, first we got to understand the smell. And that's ammonia, son, that stench. <laughs> now, sm my nose ain't lying to me. When I pee and I turn, I'm like, ooh, that shit stench. Yo, I don't want that. Your body, bro, that's waste, boy. That is waste. Let me tell you something, man. Let's say you, uh, sometime you dehydrated. You can get constipated and, and just say people that don't drink enough water, you got a lot of toxins in your body. That's why when we detox, we go on liquid diets and we don't eat that much. Guess what the water is doing? It's flushing a lot of waste out of your body when you pee pee, son. I've healed myself knowing this. You don't go back like a dog to his own vomit, you nasty fuck. None knowledgeable nigga. You're going to get somebody poison and kill, boy. That You can get somebody poison with this urine drink and shit, son. Nigga, if a lot of y'all that don't drink a lot of water, your body full of metals and all kind of shit. Have you ever had a fucking, uh, what they call it? I forgot what they call it. Where you get like a, uh, in, in your penis or whatever, where you got to pass a kidney stone. That's what it is. And you just drink liquids to flush it out. So you telling me when I drink liquids to flush out a kidney stone, that I'm going to drink that piss and re-drink the stone that I just flushed out of my penis, son. This is sounding crazy, son. <laughs> son, don't you know, son, that you just going to re-swallow the same stone and have to flush it out again? Son, if there's anything in your body, like toxins, too much sugar, you can piss it out with water and, and hydrate yourself and fast and flush it all out. Why would you go back and drink the shit that you just flush out of your body? Stupid. That's like me eating my waste. That's like your body vomiting and you saying, let me go eat that back up like a dog. Your body vomited because it was something in that food that didn't belong in your body. Now, you might not know that. You might didn't even taste nothing. But trust me, your body know what it's doing. It made you puke out that meal that's called food poison. And it's something you don't know. They didn't handle the meat right. It's something it wouldn't cook right. Your body's saying, no, I, I need to puke this out. Because if I try to process this, it'll, it'll do you more harm. Like our body will, will like, like fecal matter, urine, all that is waste, man. Let that shit go. Uh, your doctor's a liar. I've been told you that. But you keep going to him. His doctor is a liar. Y'all think this nigga don't go to a doctor? This dude's a fucking fraud. Trying to act like he don't go to a doctor. He go to a grocery store. He go to a house built by the white man. A school built by the white man. A YouTube built by the white man. But when he gets sick, he say, give me that boo-boo. Give me that pee-pee. And he avoid the doctor with urinalysis, with urinate. Son, I'd rather go to the white man doctor. I don't give a fuck how, how sleep you say I am. <laughs> I bet you my breath don't smell like pee-pee. Let's go. Um, and her, and, and you keep letting... Telling a nigga, I don't... Nigga, you tell... The, I, I'm not saying the earth, earth ain't flat. It's just not the way he teach it. Nigga. Go and drink you a cup of piss and leave me alone because you don't have no validation to think you can challenge me on flat earth, nigga. I'm the king of this shit. Like, among the flat earth community, there's a hierarchy, nigga, and I'm at the top among the best, nigga. Even the biggest pushers in flat earth gave me the stamp of approval. You think I need the stamp of approval from a pee-pee drinker? Son, you stupid, son. Stupid.
You could you could go check about me in my own hood in these YouTube streets and ask any flat earth about me and they gonna put respect on my name, nigga. From ODD to Dubé to Jaronism to all of them, nigga. Like, that's like telling a nigga, go to my hood and ask about me. Nigga, I, everybody know who I am in my community. So you a nigga on the outside looking in whose uh, commentary don't even matter to flat earthers, nigga. You go drink some piss. You think flat earthers checking for what you got to say about bro Sanchez teachings, dude? <laughs> and I thought your beef was m with me was that I disrespected you. Now it's something about flat earth. See, nigga, this is some bullshit. I smell bullshit. So I'm going to keep roasting you, PP drinker. PPP loan. No, not the PPP loan. The, you know, PP punch. That's what it's called. Y'all grew up the Tiki punch. He grew up the PP punch. Let's go. Letting them lie to you. So now, um, what is urine? Follow me now. What is urine? Something that a child won't out of their pamper when they fucking do it. Think about how dumb this is, y'all. A baby that just peed in a pamper will cry like a motherfucker for the mama to come change that pamper. Get this piss off of me. You know why? It burns. It got ammonia in it. Drop a one, mama. Mama's drop a one. Would you, would you squeeze the piss out of your baby pamper and put it in his bottle? <laughs> That's what uh, Crumb TV will do. Because piss is good for you, right? This PP mouth nigga picked the wrong nigga to play with. And son, don't you know the people will pay me to do this to you, son? I got time and I got the kind of people that'll send me super chats, cash up, and pay me to beat up on your PP pee, -pee breath, boy. <laughs> Just leave us alone over here and I will let us do our little thing over here, man, in this community, bro. And just keep y'all ass out, nigga. If I'm saying something you don't like, fuck you. Who cares, nigga? I'm not, I don't care what you teaching. And you didn't have this smoke when you brought me over there. Like, my people see these little pussy games y'all play, the whole moves y'all play, acting like you know a nigga personally and shit. Nigga, I don't hang out with PP drinkers. Son, you not, I'm, I'm a nigga from Alabama. You's a up north nigga. You don't got my phone number, and I don't got your phone number. Tell the people that, listen, pick up the phone and call me, and let's see do my phone ring with your lying ass. Because if you know somebody personally, at least you know their phone number. I'm not going to be on here saying I know a nigga personally that I can't even call up on the phone right now. That's clout chasing. That's like a thirsty hoe. Oh, Sanchez, I know him. Uh, how you know him? You know, he cool with my... Shut your ass up. Want to be... That's the nigga. That's my cousin ass nigga. That's my cousin. Urine is plasma ultra... Filtrate. Y'all heard that nigga. Urine is plasma ultra filtrate. So if a nigga don't call it pee pee, if he can give it an enticing name, now he can make you drink it. Anybody following this man a fool, that's the type nigga that'll say boo boo is called fecal brownie cupcakes. Mmm, you weirdo. Urine is called PP punch. Fuck it. We're going to keep that name, nigga. PP punch. I like the way the peas flow. PP punch, nigga. That's your motherfucking ass, son. <laughs> With your darn one headed ass, nigga. Them stanky dreads. Let's go. Plasma ultra filtrate. And that's why you drank it, right? So long as you don't got to tell yourself this a cup of piss. No, it's not piss. It's plasma ultra filtrate. Repeat after me. Plasma. Oh, this is not pee pee. If you call it piss again. OK, because I got to drink this shit, man. <laughs> Ah, 
because I got to drink this shit, man. Quit calling it piss. We're not drinking piss. We're drinking star juice. We're drinking plasma ultra filtric casabon. We're drinking cryptoconicon. It's good for your third eye chakra. Repeat after me, plasma ultra filtrate. It's not boo-boo. Repeat after me, fecal brownie cupcake. Let's go. If you watch my last video called anemia, fuck your doctor, then you will know that um, I broke down what blood is. So what is blood? Blood is 55% plasma. And PP is 55% Plasma. Why would you piss out your plasma? All of that plasma just flushed down a toilet. Are you serious? <laughs> I tell you what, man. Here, tell you what. Hey, baby, hand me my uh my my tea pitcher out the truck. You got the piss? Come on, everyone piss in this pitcher. Yeah, we're not gonna flush that. We're not. What you gonna do with that? I'm gonna make pee pee punch. Fuck that. <laughs> so wait a minute. You drink other people's piss too? <laughs> What do you think, dude? It's plasma. I told you, stop calling it piss. <laughs> what is plasma? Plasma is 90% water. So now, what is the job of the kidneys? The job of the kidneys is to filter plasma. They oh, my fucking God. Oh, my. How is this misinformation, this medical inf misinformation? I'm going to flag you, son. I'm just playing, boy. Stupid. People are like, oh, yeah, your kidneys filter blood. Well, what is blood? Blood is nine, is, is, uh. I don't give a fuck about all that. All I know is when you put your nose up to a cup of piss and smell it, your body gonna reject it. Your body gonna tell you, please don't drink that. Please don't do me like that. Listen to your body, man. That's just like me putting a plate of boo-boo in front of you. And I say, hey, bon appetit. You're going to say, ooh, no, but you don't do that with a cup of pee-pee, son? <laughs> you the type nigga that probably put your boogers on a saltine cracker and just tie that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> he one of them type niggas. <laughs> Yo, that's the type of nigga that'll blow a loogie on a club cl cr club cracker and tie that shit up. <laughs> oh, 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 and, uh, oh shit. Is 90% water. Oh, my God, so now, son. Um, let's stick with anemia. Son, don't tell me you, you making earwax and jelly sandwiches over there, son. <laughs> And I'm going to just collect enough of my earwax to make a sweet potato pie. The ass nigga. <laughs> so now you got to <laughs> Oh, shit. Son. Son. Oh, my God. That means you have low red blood cells. So <laughs> instead of your blood cells being 45%, I'm sorry, your blood oh. being 45%. Oh, uh, blood. man. I can't do this shit. Oh, man. Oh, I got to do it, though, because it's fun, and the people pay me for it, nigga. <laughs> That's why um, y'all hating on me, nigga. I got the stun on y'all, niggas. Hold on. Look at me, nigga. And look at you, PP drinker. Wait a minute. Look at how fly I am. Boy, look at my... Boy, look at look at, look at me, boy. Boy. Boy, look at me, boy. Boy, I'm that nigga, boy. Look. Look, boy. And I'm in shape, boy. And I'm a nigga that's a tall... Lanky nigga for my uh, uh, weight class. And yeah, I got a, a, a heavy bag out there just to let you know. Guess what? I hit the gun range. I look better than you. And guess what, nigga? I'm older than you, son. Quit drinking your pee pee. You, if you say you got melanin, why you need pee pee? Son, this what you drinking. Watch this, son. Look at this. This what you drinking. Son, this what you drinking right here, son. <laughs> hey, you know how when you go in the store and you buy you a bottle of Seven Up or Dr Pepper, he go in the store and get the PPA, and the PPA got a nigga on the front cover like this.
That's the logo for the PP punch. Just a nigga on the wall. You know, Jordan kind of got his legs open, too, on some shit like that. The PP punch kind of looked like the Jordan logo, but you know it's a nigga pissing on the wall. You know what I'm saying? That's the low. He just, hey, hey, we going in the store. You want some out the store? Yeah, see if they got in the PP punch. A man, son, you can just connect a tube from your let me stop, son. You look like you're doing the gay up self fellatio, son. This is madness. Son, urinate, son. Quit drinking that pee, man. Y'all niggas be swearing that y'all got all that melanin, but you still want a cup of pee-pee. What, what the melanin for if you still got to eat the boo-boo, son? Uh, uh, you know, I'm not, not, like, that's all you missing. Like, what can I drink with a glass of piss? Like, like if we about, what can I eat with a glass of piss? Collard greens, pigtails. I can't think of no food that sounds good washing it down with a cup of piss, son. Other than a plate of boo-boo. <laughs> Don't play with it. If you're going to do it, then you got to do it all. You can't be telling your son that his pee-pee it's good for him, but it's boo-boo ain't. Anything you got to repeat twice must be good for your pee-pee. Boo-boo. How you going to tell me? How, how you going to tell me pee-pee good, but boo-boo ain't, and you got to repeat both of them twice when you say it? Son, secretism says something ain't right about that. You telling me I can take the waste out of my, so I can take liquid waste, because you know you got a trash man and a sewage man. The trash man is for solid waste. The sewage man is liquid waste. So the sewage man is the pee-pee. The trash man, well, that's the boo-boo. You telling me I can eat out the sewage, but I can't eat out the trash can, you damn dummy? Huh? That's what you're telling me, nigga. I told you I'm going to roast you. I told you let me alone. You Attention, telling me that what you telling me, boy? <laughs> Well, Sanchez, you can eat out the sewage, but not out the trash can. Nigga, all of it waste, liquid waste, solid waste. They both coming from below the waste, mother brother. <laughs> Anything below the waste is waste, nigga. Anything below the waste is waste. But you, you bomb TV. You bomb TV. You know, I never saw a bomb that resorted to eating pee-pee and drinking boo-boo. Oh, I just flipped that shit around. Hold up. <laughs> Eating pee pee? Yeah, that nigga be making pee pee pops. Pee pee freeze pops. Yeah, you can't eat pee pee now that I think about it, son. You just gave me another way to roast you, son. We know you be making pee pee pops. And you freeze that pee pee in the freezer into freeze pops. And you be, you go in on them motherfuckers, son. Pee pee pops. And we know that you be melting them turds down into, like, chocolate, Hershey's, and putting it on top of toppings and shit, on top of your cakes and shit. Son, you got to be creative to get this, this waste in your... I, I didn't make the video. You the one teaching people to drink pee-pee. And, 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 and what's the next thing to that? Eat boo-boo, man. Come on now. <laughs> I don't mind a nigga swallowing his spit, but damn, I get I get the cringes when a nigga cough up a loogie and swallow it. Like spit that shit out, boy. You don't got to swallow that loogie. You be like, mm, that taste is salty. It's good in the back of my throat. Ugh. Stupid. Y'all some nasty dingy dread head niggas. Hey boy, I, hey, I, hey, y'all want me to keep roasting him? He well cooked now. I done cooked him good. But nigga, I can roast you for a whole nother hour. I will have niggas' stomach so tight it'll look like they, it'll look like mine, son. It'll look like them, son. That's called an eight pack, son. That's called a thrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Don't nobody want to hear what you got to say because when you talk, they smell the stench of ammonia, son. <laughs> Better stop playing with me, boy. I'm that nigga. I will roast you so bad, I'll make you damn near hurt yourself, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, don't play with me. Guess what, man? And I let the people decide. Y'all want me to put him down? I keep going on this nigga. Boy, I love this shit, boy. Been roasting you for an hour. I got about three, four, five more hours up up in there. I told you I got time, and they going to send in the donations just for you, son. We got you rotating on one of them little skewers like the pig. You getting roasted today, boy. Talking about you know me personally. I don't talk to niggas that drink pee-pee and eat boo-boo. Quit lying to them people. I don't got one nigga number in my phone that eat boo-boo. I don't got one nigga number in my phone that drink pee-pee. Son, you over there on your own cloud, you and nature, boy, and all them niggas. Leave me alone, pee-pee drinker. Leave me alone, pee-pee drinker. Pee-pee drinker. Leave me alone, pee-pee drinker. Leave me alone, pee-pee drinker. Damn it, man. You got to make a 30-minute video while you drink your piss. Maybe you shouldn't drink it, son. Because I don't got to make a 30-minute video on why I drink green tea. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, goddammit, that the same benefits I get from a green tea is what you claiming you get from the piss. Because I've heard niggas. You act like, listen, I know folks that drink they piss. They ain't doing no more better than me. It ain't like they can fly. It ain't like they smell better. They gonna outlive a nigga. They never show me the perks they get. Nigga, if you drink your piss, your, your skin can look like mine. I'm good. My skin look better than yours, and I drink Budweiser, son. <laughs> if you drink your piss, you can have nappy black hair like mine. I'm good, nigga. I got that pretty boy hair, nigga. Niggas be asking me, are you all the way black? And I like to get asked that, nigga. I don't like a nigga to just look at me and say he black, nigga. Yeah, you see that hair, nigga? That's coon talk right there, nigga. Right, separate me from that pee pee drinker. He can have that nappy shit and the boo boo. He can have that plate of boo boo too that he wrapped up, nigga. I don't want none of that. <laughs> And have all that boo boo and pee pee. Leave me long. Let me long. Let me long. Pee pee drinker. Come I'm on. sorry. Red blood cells. Your your blood is now let's say 35 percent red blood cells. So doctors. Yeah, that's the type nigga don't even want to let a fart go to waste. That nigga got a brown paper bag. Brown paper bag. Brown paper bag. You know that's the type of nigga that'll fart in a brown paper bag and lock himself in a chamber and bust that bag and say, Woosa. <laughs> shit all day don't you know that i'm bad i'm a better comedian than i am a rapper son son don't you know i'm a better roaster and a comedian than i am a flat earth teacher boy you done fucked up Stupid. boy you done fucked up boy you finna get everything you didn't want son brown paper bag yeah he they over there eating farts and eating poops and boo-boo and drinking pee-pee and it ain't nothing uh safe. <laughs> hey, shit, it ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't, hey, a fart ain't even safe. That nigga got a jar full of farts. <laughs> he opened that bitch up. <sighs> I'm going to open this one on it. That's a great seal, nigga. Yeah, damn, I ain't letting that go to waste. <laughs> in a centrifuge and it spins and you can see the top is clear the middle is uh, your white blood cells at the bottom is your red blood cells um so now um when he looks at that when he looks at that he's gonna see that um you've got about half our uh, plasma and half red blood cells you got a low amount of red blood cells now what you're supposed to do Eat iron, just like I told you on my last video. If you go look up what you're supposed to These niggas be kings and queens from Egypt in boo-boo and pee-pee. 
Nigga, show me a pharaoh drinking some piss. See, y'all be mixing in y'all own little sick cult shit with it. Two girls and a cup. You two girls and a cup ass nigga. When the two white girls did it, niggas got mad, but y'all do it for health purposes. Make that make sense. Show me, right, how a cup of PP going to make me healthier tomorrow. I'm good with the butt wise. I'm good. <laughs> and letting that this, the people still going to rock with your boy. They ain't rocking with you, boy, in that brown paper bag. That brown... It, Every nigga know a nigga from the hood with brown paper bags and he got that money in it. This nigga come out the kitchen with brown paper bag. Nigga, what's in there? Nigga, this is a fart from 1990. I've been waiting to bust it. Pop! <laughs> Breathe in. Come on, nigga. Nigga, you over there inhaling farts for your kundalini. Drinking pee-pee for your root chakra. Boy, quit playing with me, son. And son, I'm so about everything, and I'm such a fearless nigga. And, I, and, and listen, let me just stop. Son, I ain't through with you, though. I do overkill. I empty clips in niggas, real talk. I don't know when to stop. They going to say Sanchez a demon, boy. You going to keep on kicking him like that on the ground? Man, just don't, don't mess with me, though. You know, I, 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 I'm good, though. You know, but the, I tell you what right now, nigga. Use a pee pee drinker, boy. You got some nerve calling out a fly nigga like me with some dreads like yours, boy. Look at your shit. <laughs> you make niggas with dreads get a bad name, nigga. He got dreads. See, some niggas get dreadlocks so they can be lazy. They don't want to comb they hair. And I see some niggas with dreadlocks. They dreadlocks look good. It look strong. It look like they grease them. It looked like they put the grease in them and take care of them. You just a nasty ass piss drinking nigga who got the wrong one, nigga. I swear to God, Crumb TV, I'm the wrong one, boy. I swear I can be your worst nightmare. I swear, Crumb TV, you really don't don't want it with me, man. I, 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 I'm just telling you, bro. But I'm a I'm I'm hey, this is what we're gonna do, Crumb, cause I ain't through. My my rage ain't quenched yet. I still wanna beat you some more. So, but this is what I'm going to do to be fair, though. If the crowd say, leave him alone, Sanchez, you doing it too bad, i leave you alone. If they say, fuck that nigga, keep beating up on him, them my niggas, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to get another beer and I'm going to keep this shit going all night, boy. And I'm going to do another one tomorrow. And then, see, I'm gonna, I got the time for you, dog. I got the time for the whole shit you pulling. See, check this out, right? Drop a one in the chat room right now if y'all want me to leave that man alone. I, I already got him good enough. Drop a two if it's fuck that Sanchez. Fuck that nigga. Keep on getting that nigga. Ones or twos. Boy, you better hope they put ones for you. Because if they put twos, I ain't voting again. I'm going to just keep this shit rolling all night on your pee-pee drinking ass. <laughs> But you better hope they feel sorry for you, bomb TV. Uh-oh, they don't feel sorry for you, son. Here we go. Here we go, son. We not stopping, son. We gonna review the whole video. Supposed to be eating? It's gonna tell you McDonald's. It's gonna tell you chitlins. It's gonna tell you uh, 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 the roaches of the, uh, of the sea, which is our uh, shrimp. But no, you're supposed to be eating dark leafy greens. So and drinking yellow golden piss, right? Oh, now let's say dandelions. Dude, why you scrap? And that's what I'm saying. We two minutes into the video and you already scratching your hair. And you telling me you ain't a nasty nigga, son. Son, you look like a stanky nigga. But no, you're supposed to be eating dark leafy greens. So now let's say dandelions. Yeah, that nigga just scratched his head. And it looked like some fell out of that shit. Lines. Because I eat dandelions. I'm talking about the weeds that grow in your yard. Yeah, I eat those. So now, uh, um, because they have... I don't mind you eating dandelions. Can we get to you drinking the pee-pee? 
twice the amount of iron that your um that than, than spinach. So now the doctor says, "All right, you, you have anemia. You need to eat more iron." So you go and you be like, "Well, how much iron? I don't know how much iron I need." So now, uh, uh, um, let's say you need five dandelions. Let's keep it simple. I want to hear all this pseudoscience. Thirty minutes of nonsense to tell me why I need to drink my urine. And I'm still not getting it yet, but I'm going to let you go, though. So now uh, you eat seven dandelions because you didn't know you needed five. All you thought is that you needed seven. So now you eat five, seven dandelions and all you needed was five. So now you have two extra dandelions. Follow me. Two extra dandelions. Why were you eating the dandelions? Because you know there's iron in the dandelions. Why iron? Because iron is used by the body to make hemoglobin. Why hemoglobin? Because hemoglobin is used to make red blood cells, red blood cells. But all you needed was five dandelions to get your red blood cell count back up. Can to, we to, get to, get to get the drink? Let me try. Love, get, can, never had. Get, I, I, I can't lie, man. I'm hating on him. I actually drunk my piss before. I tried it before. Here it is. Oh, he fasted for a month. Wow, did you hear that? He fasted for a month. Why don't we see this on these YouTube videos? Why everybody's so quick to pull up a cup of piss and drink it? You know what? Let me try that. Piss might not taste that bad. A little salty, but it's all right, though. Why didn't they tell this boy I'm a real life comedian? Like, son, I've been making people's stomach tight since 1984. You's a fool, son. Son, let's let's let him come on, son. Just a poor diet. So now, um, you uh you have two extra dandelions because you you ate seven, but all you but you thought. Guess what I told them niggas? I fucks with Dr. Sebi, but I don't fuck with Pee Pee, and I don't fuck with Boo Boo. See why everybody can't be like that. Why you can't say, hey, this is what I learned from Dr. Seven, and these are things I don't rock with what I think he wrong about. I think PP is waste, and I don't care because Dr. Seven said, you can drink it. I'm going to say, you can drink yours. I'll take the green tea. <laughs> we both, hey, man, I still outlive, uh, uh, I'm going to still outlive a lot of you PP drinkers with my butt wiser. Because I got energetic, youthful spirit in me, dude. Thought you needed, but uh, because you didn't know how much you needed. So now um, your plasma is where those two extra dandelions go. Your red blood cells is where those five dandelions You know, 10 gallons of piss and eight tons of shit later that you didn't consume and you realize that a nigga that was drinking every day outlived your pee pee drinking, boo boo eating ass. And that's really the, the, the truth about it. Niggas is doing everything they can do to live longer, nigga, when it's already a death date set for you and ain't nothing you can do about it. Nigga, nigga a lot of y'all niggas trying to say, man, how can I increase my health? And you go to, I don't understand how drinking your piss ever became an option. And if a nigga say, well, no, I'm not going to eat my poop, like I said, you mean to tell me I can eat out the sewer but not out the dumpster? Because you needed five, um, but you ate seven. My numbers might be off. I, I might have said you needed five, you ate seven. I don't know what I said. Anyway, you, you ate seven, all you needed was five, you got two extra. Those five went to your red blood cells. Those extra two went to your plasma. Follow me. The extra two went inside your plasma. What is plasma? He still ain't convinced me to pull up a cup of piss yet. Let's move it. I can't. This is 30 minutes, dog. And the people want me to roast you. And matter of fact, let's look at your channel. You probably got some more weird, goofy shit on there, nigga. Everybody on YouTube doing it wrong? Yeah, nigga. Dr. Sebi just told you, niggas. You know what? Let me try that. Piss might not taste that bad. A 
a little salty, but it's all right, though. And after my urine was as clear as water, I decided to drink it. And after my urine was as clear as water, I decided to drink it. And I don't agree with urine therapy, but look at what Dr. Sebi said. Dr. Sebi said he went on months of fasting before he drunk his piss. He said he didn't drink no yellow piss. Dr. Sebi said he didn't drink his piss until it was clear. I see all of these people pouring up yellow cups of piss. You can't make it up, bro. I can show it to you right now. Whenever, and they be drinking it on camera. And that cup of piss be yellow as hell. Watch this. Dr. Sebi didn't drink no yellow ass piss. It's full of ammonia. Toxins. He said he clenched and fasted first in his body. Let me see. And I still don't understand. Like, and I still don't agree with it. But here it is right here. Uh, here we go right here. Here go a group in Colorado. If you're thinking, am I really watching what I think I'm... This shit making me not even want to finish my beer, nigga. <laughs> because my beer look too much like that shit. Like, this is hard. Can y'all see? This is Chrome TV, PP Punch. If you're thinking, am I really watching what I think I'm watching? You're right. That's a woman drinking her own pee for the first time. That was fine. To understand... You nasty motherfucker. I'm gonna get you, sucker. You pissy motherfucker. Why? And you're not familiar with this, then? No. Oh, Which is a good thing. Oh, uh, you better be chewing, chewing gum. And not any. See, after you drink a glass of piss, you can't even disrespect that Wrigley's and that spearmint like that, bitch. You need Big Red. Quit playing. You can't be drinking no cup of piss, then pull out the green stick. No, let me teach you PP punch drink or something. Watch this, right? You don't drink a cup of piss and eat some of this. No. You you let me tell you something. After you drink a cup of piss, you can scratch out that juicy fruit. You can scratch out that double mint. You can damn sure strike out that that, that juicy fruit. Cause that shit ain't gonna cover that piss up. And, 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 and that spearmint is, is just going to smell like piss and mint. Your best bet is to go with the Big Red. And guess what? You need to get you about 10 of them motherfuckers and ball them up in a knot like the Big Bang Theory and just have a burst of cinnamon explosion in your pissy ass mouth. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Only thing going to work with you out this fabulous five bunch is the Big Red. And I doubt if that kill it all, that ammonia, but it'll, it'll, strong. Big Red burn, it's strong. But yeah, bitch, if you chewing gum after you just drunk that piss, you need your ass whooped if it's anything other than Big Red. I'm telling you that right now. I wish the fuck you would disrespect that juicy fruit like that. That's for coffee drinkers, not no piss drinkers. <laughs> The piss drinkers is limited to Big Red only. I'm making it a rule. Good thing. Let's meet Therese Nickel an hour and a half earlier. I do the foot soaks. At the Boulder Public Library. Oh, I'm drinking uh, tea. No demonstrations allowed. <laughs> this is the urine therapy meetup and I'm Christopher McCour. When Western medicine and, didn't um, work, the people you. in this group looked inside themselves yeah, I mean, for an answer. Oh man, we not gonna let you be disrespecting that juicy fruit like that, man. Fuck that, nigga. Gonna, oh, bro, you, you, you not gonna be disrespecting that spearmint like that, my nigga. You, we, we can fuck with the big red, but you not gonna be disrespecting that double mint like that, man. No, we not gonna let you do that. Not gonna let you do it really big in India because that's where it comes from. Chris you know, says the ancient the therapy person. helped the eczema on his hands. I'd say a good way to start is just like maybe one sip. Think about that, right? That's like a nigga saying, I know you ain't gay, but a good way to start is like just a little hand up your butt. 
and then eventually you can go to a banana and then a cucumber. But a good way to start just to break your cherry, you know, maybe just have one sip of cum. And then when you, you know, get used to the taste of it, maybe you can take a whole load. Oh, my God. In your mouth. That's what this nigga look like and sound like. Maybe just start off with like one sip of pee pee. And then when you, you see, you know, just rub it around your tongue. Now I can pull you a shot glass amount. And then after that, we can go into a whole little coffee cup amount. And after that, you'll be drinking gallons of piss in no time, fucking with motherfucking Sir John here. <laughs> I can just see y'all niggas now with, with whiskey flask full of pee-pee. Talking about, I can remember your first sip. You hated the taste of it. And now you done graduated the gallons, and they're going to be clapping it up for niggas. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's awesome. Yep. Remember when he first joined the PP club? You know, he said, I just don't like the stench of the ammonia. I told him, just take one shot of it, and I guarantee you, you'll be drinking whiskey flask amounts of piss in no time. Fucking with the PP brothers. Let's go. Free approach. Listen, bro, what does this dude and Chrome TV got in common? Look at their hygiene. Look at their hygiene. These are niggas that don't want to bathe. They don't want to keep their hair up. They don't want to clean their nose if a booger in it. Because they going to sit there and say, do you know why you shouldn't be cleaning your boogers out your nose? Fuck what your doctor say. If you got boogers in your nose, you need to leave them boogers in there. The boogers are called carbon minisitrate calmopatrate. And they are there to filter in uh, positive ions into the brain. So if you're picking your boogers out of your nose, you're getting rid of some of that melanin. Yeah, you them type niggas. <laughs> you know, and you want me to tell you why you shouldn't be brushing your teeth? Want me to tell you why you shouldn't be cleaning the wax out your ears? Because if you could collect enough of that wax, because what's in that wax is the what's making it brown, is a pure form of melanin, all right? So if you could collect enough of that wax, enough of it to make a sandwich with, my brother, you get where I'm going? Or, or to put on a piece of toast, my brother, then you can take that wax and spread it on top of the toast, my brother, and put your placenta on top of it, and brother, that'll give you a melanin boost. <laughs> Let me make it real easy for you because I feel like I'm losing some people. Let me make it real easy for you. Now, let's say instead of calling it plasma, let's just call it water. Instead of calling it iron, let's just call it dirt. How about we call it what it is, boo-boo and pee-pee? You don't want to call it what it is because you know you don't supposed to be drinking it. That's why we don't call eggs baby chickens. That'll make it harder to crack them, won't it? See, I know this game, nigga. We don't call chitlins pig guts. Because if a nigga went in there and saw on a box pig intestines, it'll hit different, won't it? It'll hit different. No, let's not call them pig intestines. Let's call them chitlins. I'm serious, dude. I'm a nigga from the South, bro. And I'm going to tell you now. I don't, and I grew up eating chitlins. I don't eat them no more. They actually gross me out now. But I'm going to tell you something. The smell of them things being cleaned is so shitty throughout the whole house. They got to clean them thing in soap water and rinse them out. Bro, I would never eat chitlins again. Now, yeah, they was fucking, they got to clean the boo-boo out of the intestines, y'all. I've saw this myself. I saw them take the bucket of chitlins to the kitchen sink and, squ and clean the poop out of those intestines Wash it with soap and water, rinse it off, and boil it for chitlins. Now listen, calling it chitlins is way better than calling it pig intestines. Anybody want some of these pig intestines? <laughs> Can you imagine Big Mama in the kitchen 
Who else wants some pig intestines? She going to say, hey, pass me the chitlins. Anybody else want some chitlins? It's a lot to the name, dog. It's a lot to the name, dog. Because if you eat chitlins at the table and you call them pig intestines, you're going to gross people out, even though that's what the fuck they're eating, though. <laughs> of course you don't want to call it PP. Of course you want to call it Superman juice. You're a weirdo. Of course you want to call it melanin punch, plasma power punch, and all this goofy shit. Of course you don't want to call it urine, nigga. We know you the type nigga that want to call it, goddammit, a plasma punch. Star juice. Man, that's pee-pee, nigga, and you a stupid. That's pee-pee. Can you put a little bit of dirt inside your water and it still be water? Absolutely. But if you put too much dirt inside your water, what is it now? Mud. Now it's mud. mud. You're a simple ass dingy stanky nigga that eat his motherfucking boo boo. And you don't make no points, nigga. Show us why we should drink pee pee, man. You talking too much, but not talking about that cup of pee pee. Now your blood, which is really your plasma, now your blood is too thick. So who is responsible for making sure that your blood is not so thick? It's your uh, kidneys. Your kidneys. What is the purpose of your kidneys? So now what they're going to tell you? Oh, well, your kidneys are responsible for filtering out toxins. Wrong. Wrong. Your kidneys are not responsible for filtering out toxins. Your kidneys are responsible for making you pee pee punch. <laughs> His mouth looked like he drank piss, don't it? And look at this, this frame right here. That nigga's mouth looked like he'll gobble up the hell out of a cup of piss. He'll drink it so fast, it'll be running down the side of his mouth and his neck, you nasty bitch. I ain't that nigga you want to play with, boy. I do this to you all day, nigga. And I'll make money doing it, nigga. Stop playing with me, though. <laughs> Yo ass just got a toxic-ass diet. You got a toxic ass diet. How you going to tell that man who drinking green tea, he got a toxic diet and you wake up drinking your piss out the toilet. Okay, I'll keep my toxic diet and you can keep your boo boo and pee pee. Because a nigga can't tell me toxins ain't in your pee pee. You're a nigga that's talking about drinking pee pee and you talking about a toxic diet. Don't you know when your body is getting rid of toxins, it makes you uh, shit them out. It make you sweat them out. And guess what's the biggest way your body get rid of toxins? Through you drinking water, it pisses them out. Drop a one in the chat room and do I got anybody in the medical field? Guess how I'm about to kill this nigga, y'all? Because guess what you don't know, nigga? I got black folks in my chat room that's RNs, nurses, Medical field. Guess how this shit about to get crucial now. Because guess what I'm about to do, nigga? I've been roasting you. Now I'm about to fuck with your credibility now. Because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop talking. Neither one of us ain't no medical experts. Watch this, though. If anybody in the chat room work at a clinic, if you do anything in the medical profession and you want to talk about the dangers of drinking your pee and eating your boo-boo, Come up, please, and tell these niggas, because I'm going to joke on it. But you're going to go into the science of why niggas shouldn't be doing it. I know for a fact it's stuff in our pee and our poop that ain't good that go back into the body. I don't know what it is. I don't know the names of it. But see, I ain't no dummy, nigga. I know there's a reason nature is making my boo-boo stank. And she making that orange smell good, ain't it? Use your fucking head, nigga. Nature communicating with you through your senses. Nature telling you, leave that boo-boo for them flies, man. Why you gonna go back and eat your boo-boo? Let them flies have that shit. You eating a fly diet. You eating a fly diet, poop and boo-boo. See, because I know for a fact nature made your boo-boo stank for a reason. Because nature don't want no human going back eating a boo-boo. 
Nature saying, stay away from that. And she said, I'm going to make this shit stink so bad. A human's going to know not to eat their boo-boo. Nature said, I'm going to make this pee-pee smell so bad that you got to be a cold nigga to pull you up a cup of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guess what, man? Bro, I don't think I want to fight this nigga. I just thought about it, nigga. You got to be a cold nigga, nigga, to get past that ammonia stench. And, and, ooh, woo, nigga, just thinking about it make me want to stop drinking Budweiser's today. But, nigga, it's Friday. I get to drink, nigga. And what better than a Friday than to be with bro Sanchez when he in his motherfucking prime roasting these bitch-ass niggas? Everybody know you don't play with me, man. I beat you in a debate, and you can't out-roast me, dog. And I'm not no ugly nigga, dog. And, yeah, I'm a roaster. You better be that nigga trying to roast with me, son. Because I, I literally do this shit, boy. Like, I roast, nigga. I do this. I hurt feelings with the... Bro, I'm a real comedian, son, and I ain't through with you yet. Let's go. That's why your silly ass thinking the kidneys are for filtering out toxins. No. The nigga gonna tell me my damn diet toxic, but you drank pee-pee. You got some nerve, nigga. Kidneys are for maintaining... You fuzzy-headed, nigga. Homeostasis. If you get hot, you sweat. If you get hungry, you drink. If I'm sorry, you eat. If you get thirsty, you drink. If you Tell us why we got to drink PP, man. You talking a bunch of dumb shit, bro. You uh, uh, itch, you scratch. This is called balance, people. Your kidneys are responsible for maintaining balance. I just and your pee pee is responsible for going in the toilet, son. Now, why do I gotta teach you the same thing I teach that a nigga gotta teach his son? Where my dad is at? These dad is teaching they little boys to go to the potty, and you teaching they little boys to drink the piss. You a, you're toxic, nigga. And that's some slyway gay shit, some golden shower type shit. To the gallows. Like, nigga, nigga, let's, okay, now I'm a tag team your ass. Who wants some of this roast, man? I cooked it good. It got carrots and everything. Who wants some that of the roast? In Davy Jones' locker. And tell me how that roast tastes. Man, come on, who wants some of this roast? We gonna cut this roast up now. He been cooking good enough. We gonna eat him, but still roast him. You know how you make a plate, but still keep the crock pot going, though? You just fits a plate out of it, but we gonna keep it going. Go ahead. Drinking any type of urine can cause serious health problems. That's 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 a that's a medical uh that's a medical statement. That's not Bobby Knight's word. What up with it, everybody? That's up here. What up, Sanchez? Salute, salute. That nigga be drinking pee pee slurpees. Be freezing that shit. Pee pee slurpees. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no, he did hit him with the PP Slurpees. Oh, my God. Not the PP Icy. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I'm glad I opened the panel up. He's the Wizard Merlin. That nigga is making piss potions. That's that's why he's... Piss potion. Ha! Oh, my God. Nigga is making piss love bombs and throwing them on niggas. Hey, Bobby, that nigga be that nigga be adding that lime Kool-Aid to that shit, nigga. That nigga, um, he go to England and order piss and chips. He don't want fish and chips. He want a, a big bite. Piss and chips. Piss and chips. Uh, damn. That boy. nigga practiced uh that nigga practiced uh urine astrology, nigga. That nigga <laughs> piss on the canvas hey, and then look at the stars. Hey Sanchez, wasn't uh wasn't that dude Dave Murphy doing that shit too? Remember that? Huh? Wasn't Dave Murphy doing that too? Yeah, turtles in a half shell, pissy power. Fuck turtle power. <laughs> nah, hold on, Sanchez. I know you tried to cut your boy some <laughs> Dominique say he I, got them shit plates. <laughs> oh, my mama. <gasps> you see why I've been going hard at all this shit that motherfucking uh, Dr. Sabian and all of them. Now, listen, I know you tried to cut your boy Dr. Sabian some bell, nigga. I don't give a fuck how clear your piss come out, nigga. 
I nigga, if you drink enough vodka, your piss go come out white, nigga. I'm with you. Drinking, <laughs> I don't agree with it no way, but I'm still saying they keep saying what well, Dr. Sebi taught it, and every time I see them niggas, they cup of piss be yellow as hell. And Dr. Sebi's mm. shit was clear. Like, so y'all just so quick to drink pee pee, you didn't even research with how the man said do it. You just got up the next day, like, uh, I'm gonna can't wait to taste what pee pee tastes like. Mm. You didn't mm. even go through the months of detoxing to clean it. That's my point. I don't drink piss, period. But them niggas couldn't wait to drink the piss, Bobby. They said, fuck that detox, period. I'll drink it yellow. And hey, look, get, I'm going to give y'all some real science. Check this out. That's why I always shoot at them Dr. Sabi ice. Any, any urine that you pass is supposed to have a slight yellowish tint to it because that, that literally indicates the filtration process that's going on. Anytime you pass urine that's like clear or, or you know what I'm saying, super clear, that means you either drinking, hydro, overhydrating yourself you either drinking something that's super clear, like Sprite and all of that shit, or you know what I'm saying, a bunch of liquor, or you uh, y your kidneys not filtrating properly. So that means yes, whatever you drinking, whatever you drinking, just coming right back out. It ain't being filtered. So that's mm -hmm. all that means. Like if you overhydrate yourself, like drink two gallons of water, yeah, it's gonna come out clear. But that means because you just flushed <laughs> a bunch of water through your system, it ain't that. It, it's not filtrating nothing. So that don't mean I nothing. That's just like when you go take a, a, a test, right? You know, motherfuckers be trying to get slick, pass the test, you drink a whole lot of water. They tell your ass, oh, you got a water load. That mean they can't read nothing out of that shit. It's too clear. Drinking right. your weed, unacceptable. This nigga drinking wee wee sodas and yeah, shit. That's a, and then look, <laughs> even in the wild, right? Let's say you was in a survival situation. They would literally tell you to sterilize your urine. You got to sit that shit in some type of condensation machine, separate the, the, the actual poison part of the urine from the actual water or whatever is sustainable in that shit, which might take you a day or two. And then you could possibly drink that, which is still going to taste like some salty ass Gatorade. But I mean, that's the only way you can do it. Ain't no, ain't no just peeing in no cup drinking that. You still got to take that through another process. So this nigga tripping. Nah, nigga, I, I just drink some water out the faucet. Fuck that pee. Man, I drink water out the water hose before I drink that shit. Well, we used to do that as kids anyway. I ain't stupid that low. Ah. Mm. You feel, feel a Mountain Dew bottle up and give it to him, he'll feel right at home. Won't know no hey, difference. Well, salute to everybody on the panel, man. Uh, Hopefully, uh, we ain't got no piss filtrators up here, man. Not not infiltrators, piss filtrators. Mm -hmm. Man, I tell you. Yeah, but I was telling Sanchez, man, this dude, he just cloud chasing, bro. I mean, he flat out said it out of his mouth that he knew the man personally, don't even know the man. He was just trying to get his, his name out there. That's it. I'm That's saying, it. What's his whole? What, what's the whole agenda? What's the whole agenda behind the smoke? I was I mean, in and out, but I don't even know what the whole agenda behind the smoke is. Oh, he uh, he called Sanchez out. Uh, he said Sanchez was talking shit about him. And Who said like, this? I just I, I, hey, look. I just came back to the mic, so t start over, real truth. I didn't. I was asking what the agenda behind the smoke was. I, like I've been tapping in and out, back and forth. Oh, okay, and well, I'm yeah, like, I went on this dude. I, I, I went on this dude's show. We never had problems. I don't know what the smoke is. He won't tell nobody. He keep telling them, "Wait till my big event on the twenty fourth. And it's like he's using <laughs> oh, me for clout. You know, he's using me, and that's why he got to tell him like, I know him personally. I'm about to release some shit about him that you know. And my thing is, you yeah, so my thing is this though, um. If you know something about me personally that you're going to expose, why don't you want everybody to know? Why only the people that buy tickets can know? You're a grifter, dog. Pretty much. And this is the nigga Wasted. with the long nappy dreadlocks recently. This the same nigga? 
They ain't long. Them ain't dreadlocks. Them shit locks. <laughs> no, I'm saying... I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on right now. All look, I, look, 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 all he got the these... look. Bobby, swipe over. He's showing you who he is. Look that, at this shit lock. Oh, that, that's cuz right there? Look, that yeah. pee, -pee that pee, -pee oh, man. that pee, pee got that nigga brain messed up. Now, watch this right, y'all. What this white man, right? I'm going to show y'all some. This black man right here that's coming after me saying that I'm the ops, he's part of the pee, pee drinking club. Look at this white dude. He's, he's part of this dude's group. Look at that dude's hair and all that. This white dude in the red shirt, I don't know him and I don't want to joke on him, but he looked kind of like on the same dust level as you, nigga. Like, you look dusty. <laughs> Bro, you crazy as hell. Bro. Real talk. Oh, if, this nigga look, got the dookie locks right now, man. This. He doo-doo locks. Watch this, though. If you go through the nigga man. channel, it gets worse, y'all. I ain't done with the nigga. The bitch-ass nigga talking about the Gullah Wars is the true wars that ended chattel slavery in the U.S., and that's a fucking lie, nigga. Found, it's, see, this is a nigga that's anti-FBA, too. See? Because you trying to act like the Gullah Geechees ended slavery when it was foundational black Americans and the civil rights movement and even before the civil rights movement because slavery continued on as Jim Crow. But I'm saying even during the Gullah Wars, nigga, all of these niggas that's thinking about that saying that the Gullah Geechees, that ain't got nothing to do with FBA, nigga. All of us ain't come over here on slave ships from Africa. The Gullah Wars ain't got nothing to do with black folks in America, nigga. And I said it, nigga. I'm telling you that them are, them are tether wars. I said it. Who want the smoke, though? Who want the smoke, nigga? Who want the fucking smoke, nigga? Talking about the Geechee's ended chattel slavery, nigga. The foundational black American ended uh, chattel slavery. Bro, Sanchez. Not only his diet is toxic, but his mental health is fucked up, too. Man, listen, a nigga talking about he speak facts and show proof, you a motherfucking liar, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Quit People, playing with me. Man, hold chat. up. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Sorry. Check this out, because I'm, I'm heated. I don't want to direct this anger on none of my innocent people on the thing. Listen what I'm saying, man. This nigga got a video giving David Icke props saying we are the reptilians. And y'all telling me this nigga got receipts? Nigga, that ain't no motherfucking reptil. We ain't no motherfucking reptilians. This nigga think we literally look like snakes and serpents. Look at this bullshit, bro. Is that even walking Mimi? This dude pseudo as fuck, man. <laughs> this, nigga this nigga saying we the reptilians. He really think we're mixed with some kind of fucking serpent lizard shit. He don't know what the fucking reptilian shit mean. Anybody that follow me know I break down that reptilian shit like nobody else, nigga. And I don't take it literally saying that we're fucking reptiles. This is a Freemasonic ass nigga that's cool with all of the boule ass nigga. Look, Farrakhan kisses the white man, nigga. Who gives a fuck, nigga? You over here drinking piss. I'd rather kiss that white man and drink piss, nigga. Fuck you talking about? I will kiss that white man right on his lips before I drink a cup of my own piss. You a weirdo, nigga. You a fuck what a nigga say. Watch Bro, this, man. Some... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, somebody that... I'll be honest, bro. This nigga, blame, blaming the, this nigga blaming the Gullah Wars on how black people got free. Like, that's some tether shit. Get the fuck out of here. Look at what hey. this nigga... This nigga think... This nigga think that Nature Boy was maliciously prosecuted. He's going in on the T. And he's... Oh, no. And listen... Hold on. Now I gotta cut bro, it. Bro, oh, bro, no. bro, ho! This nigga sorry, is still no, I got you. I'm finna I'm finna get you, let you have it, Bob. I want you to get it. The nigga is saying a ledge victim. A ledge victim. Oh my bad. Go ahead, bro. I'm just saying the man over here defending nature, boy, and he talking. 
out the blue, you just get a beef with me out there. I start celebrating nature, boy, lock up. See, let me tell you something. I knew that I was pissing him off by going in on Nature Boy. And I'm a chess player. But I literally didn't think he would bite at it. But I wasn't really thinking about him. I knew I was pissing Sarnetta off. I know it's a lot of niggas that don't want Nature Boy locked up. And I'm going to tell you one nigga that don't want him locked up. Pharaoh don't, nigga. Well, Pharaoh was exposing him. Pharaoh didn't want him locked up, though, nigga. And I got receipts for that, nigga. See, and yeah, I'm going to show you. Fact. That's, oh, my God. Yeah, nah, he's out here he, supporting. Yeah, bro, he's out here saying is, that. He's that from been, so bro, in a this house. man, am, listen, this pee-pee drinking, dingy head bitch is out here saying that Nature Boy was maliciously prosecuted. Now, see, that's the shit that really need to get addressed because when you look at these type of characters, you don't want to be stereo. You don't want to stereotype nobody, Sanchez, because looking at the dude and doing a quick look through his page, I said that in my mind, like, this nigga look like one of them weirdo hope be wearing <laughs> niggas stand out there and say all that bull. So, but I could be wrong. He could be just an intelligent nigga that just got smoked with Sanchez and hopefully they figure it out. But, nigga, you... If you feel like uh, Eligio was falsely prosecuted at Mali this point in time, and, and not only falsely though, with mal intent, maliciously, like, man, bro, that's crazy. You know, at this My point, we, wow. if we think about this, Sanchez, this one I'm finna go with it. Um, they pulled Cynthia G off the internet for uh saying abort black boys, correct? Um, why are we now allowing these black men to run around and say? alleged victims after men have been convicted and are serving time. None of this shit is alleged anymore. That's literally the definition of defamation, and y'all got it after that. Oh, God, bro. And I was about, about to say this thing, because I was about to say, I dived in between Elios and uh, Pharaoh uh, uh, the kind of fight that they had. And if y'all really listen to both sides, because a lot of motherfuckers be thinking, oh, Pharaoh was Pharaoh will beating him over whatever. There was one of them live that Elijah and him went live. And Elijah was telling Pharaoh, why are you acting like this when we was brothers? Remember when we was uh, hanging around on that building with, with a bunch of bitches and Pharaoh didn't even deny it. You know what I'm saying? Well, These weird ass motherfuckers be in the internet is printing all these lies. How, 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 I, I just want him to ask me one question. How do you drink a oh, cup of pee and oh, go on, online and on. talk about I'm going to tell you That's right crazy. now. I'm going to tell you right yeah, now. Let that guy if, on the panel. if you can drink a cup of piss, you sucking dick. I don't give a fuck what you say. You oh, sucking mama, dick. dick. <laughs> you sucking dick. Yeah. Nigga, how you go online, bro? Bro, such a, how you go online, bro? You drink a cup of tea in the uh, or pee in the morning, and you go online and talk about another nigga with the bro, smell how? of piss on your breath. A nigga <laughs> got crazy. all these the signs behind the doctor's wrong. This is why you should drink your piss, bro. Quit trying to beef with me and you teaching some shit like that, nigga. Use a piss breath, nigga. Keep my name out your pissing like, mouth, uh, boy. All of these little sidebar, like weird ass ideologies, why do they always lead back to somebody trying to defend or prop up uh, pedophilia, so to speak? Because now I'm starting to draw par consistent parallels to like certain type of ideologies, man, and, and certain type of group think talk, and it lead right back to this bullshit. Like from this nigga to motherfucking Rod Hayes, Young Elder, all that shit that Sonnet over there promoting. Like, why are these niggas allowed to like they hide, they hide behind these crazy ass talking points and then they get to prop up convicted pedophiles? Like th these niggas still run around free Malachi York. Rashad Jamal was innocent. Uh fucking Eligio was maliciously convicted. Or, did you even listen to the, what this nigga said here? Say, says a like, pee pee wow. drinking Bro, ass. Nigga. Someone on the panel listen, that you feel me, Sanchez? Say, a nigga, who's say, drinking piss. A you nigga that's saying? drinking piss. It's taken up for nature, boy. How weird we want to go. Thank it's, you, it's levels to weird, nigga. 
and you're at the lowest. Of, you lucky that I did good even going on your little bullshit channel. Like, I got a bunch of real South niggas and Midwest pimp niggas fought fucking with me, bro. Like, niggas like you don't stand a chance among the type cloth niggas that I'm cut from. You piss-drinking-ass, dingy-ass, non-fly-ass nigga. And nigga, and I'm telling you right now, I'm really serious about the whole, uh, what they call it, fundraising, fighting matches, nigga, where we can get paid in the ring, nigga, and we can set that up when you in Vegas. Crumb TV. You nigga, why are you teaching folks to uh, drink they piss, nigga? Won't you be telling niggas to, to, uh, to get, teach niggas some shit that really matter? Because this my thing. If I drink my piss, how that make me better than a nigga that don't? If I don't get no extra perks from drinking my piss, that's some damn, that's a fetish, nigga. Y'all some fetish ass niggas. All of this shit is right in line with the niggas that's like, I, I guarantee you this nigga probably practice that semen retention shit. I guarantee you this nigga probably, you know, follow uh, Rolo The red field, the red field niggas, right, Bobby. Right, right, He probably follow Rolo Tomasi and believe in uh, vasectomies in your 20s and, you know, never getting yeah. married. Like, it's just a whole weird ass ideology out there that's spreading in the name of so-called consciousness, man. And that the men that, that got like logic we really got to be diligent on like protecting the women and the children, bro. Cause it's a, it's a very, very large growing number of like ma mal intent ass niggas that's using this information to manipulate people who not coming from uh stable backgrounds. Because we know that this shit right here, you feel me Sanchez? Cause as we laughing at this nigga, it's somebody that didn't come from a good home like us. Whether if it was granny, granddaddy that raised you, mama and daddy, a strong uncle or something, it's somebody out there in the world that's searching like a motherfucker. And if they come across this shit, they finna be drinking piss. They finna be looking wild. They just, it, 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 I, I've seen this before in real time. Like niggas who had their life together, but they didn't have that strong foundation. Get a hold of some of this information. Niggas stop going to college. Nigga, stop going and get a line up and shit talking about the, all I want to do is wear dingy clothes and I ain't never got a I ain't got a wash for real and I smell good because this how the earth smell and all I'll be looking like God damn. Yeah, they going all nigga. the way back. You lost you, his you, marbles. Bro, you them, lost them, the niggas, them the niggas that'll tell you you see that stank under your armpits, don't wash that off. You need to sniff that in. See the right. doctor telling you to, to wash that stank off your armpit. Give me some of that stink. Give me a whole you on up. But you laughing, Sanchez. Nah, my stay. The uh Ali. Are though, you tripping, right? bro? What? No, no. But you he listen. Am I oh, lying when I say that? That brown all them people paper that man. was out there. Yeah. All them Love people it. that was out there with Elegio, right? Stank. Wasn't he? One they stinking so bad to where other people said they couldn't even be around these people because they couldn't even smell their own smell no more. And tell me I'm lying. Yeah, that nigga wanted they had got to the nigga, point to where hey, their own smell yeah, was so yeah. like they got they didn't even yeah. recognize they smelled that bad. Them niggas, bro. Them niggas is yeah, LOL. Hey, that's toxic. That, that nigga wanna be uh 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 chief smelly bitch. From from the stanky tribe. That's what Thank they trying you. to be. Everybody want to get with the stanky tribe. Yeah, I'm, I'm chief. Stink for real. Yeah, I'm chief body odor, and I'm with the stanky tribe. <laughs> Don't get mad because I went in on the chief of the stanky tribe. I'm mad I what went in on nature, but I knew this was about nature, boy. I knew There it. you go. That's what it's really all about, bro. Yeah, I swear that's to why he's mad at me. Because look, because your teacher got life and I celebrated on my big channel while you was trying to defend him. But look, I was respectful. I, I, listen, I was going in on everybody that was defending Nature Boy. But I didn't go in on him. I didn't go in on him, didn't it, y'all? Now, guess what you I making me do? I remember you guess saying that he, he kind of went against the Nature Boy now that I'm recollecting. Cause no, I never he, knew who this brother was, but I just remember you saying like, I don't remember him stop supporting Nature Boy or some shit like listen, that. Listen, man, people was popping up on my channel like Sanchez, you know, Crumb TV rock with Nature Boy, cause they know I was on his channel fucking with him. Here go the video. So they was already peeping the shits. I wasn't peeping it, Bobby. They was telling me like, oh, Sanchez, like this ain't a good look. Like Crumb TV defending them. 
you going in on them. Whether we, because both of us shared like people and shit. So it was like an elephant in a room. And I was saying to myself, well, long as he don't say nothing about me, I won't say nothing about him. But I'm going to keep going in on Nature Boy and I don't care how mad he get. Because I saw him over there mad at everybody going in on him. And I know that if I keep going in on Nature Boy, it's going to piss Crumb TV off because he subbed to me and he watched my videos just like the piss drinking bitch watching right now. So my thing is this right here. So so my my, my thing is this right here. Like, nigga, I said to myself, nigga, I was giving you a break. Nigga, now you making me look like a hypocrite. Because my folks didn't even know that I was giving you a break, nigga. Now I got to come out and say, well, I'm sorry, y'all. I was going in on everybody, but I, not him. Now I got to come show them niggas I was giving you a pass. And that ain't fair. But that's what I was doing for you. Nigga, I even went in on her son, Campbell. This dude think that I would do a subliminal on him, but not her son, Campbell. Like, you think I'm scared of you, Crumb TV? The fuck wrong with you, boy? I ain't scared of nothing, nigga. What the fuck? You better look up man. where I'm from, boy. He wants your attention, breadcrumbs. Yeah, um, breadcrumb TV. Great cake <laughs> crumb. Fucking the crumbs. That bitch is a crumb, man. Nigga, stupid. And he with, crumbs. He, and he with all of the weirdo shit written. The new whopping shit, the doctor. You're like, nigga, we see you. We know you with all the weirdo groups. Yeah, fuck them niggas, dog. I'm calling out all them niggas, man. All them niggas are saying free Malachi York and all that. The master teacher and all that dumb shit. My little cousin just in inboxed me just now talking about Rashad Jamal. I said, man, that nigga's a fucking pedophile. He was like, oh, I thought they lied to him. I said, you ain't thought shit. If you ain't looking see for yourself, fuck you mean? You thought they was they trying to set him up. Y'all always thinking that shit instead of looking for y'all self. Yo, shit check this no out, sense, man. man. Crom TV think I was taking shots at him. Because when I was going in on Nature Boy, guess what I kept saying? Anybody defending and support Nature Boy, fuck them. And fuck the em. nigga, not a hurt dog crying. Not a hurt dog. He was throwing shots at me. Yeah, nigga, that shoe fit your ass, nigga. That shoe, I meant what the fuck I said, nigga. Anybody support Nature Boy, fuck you. You's a bitch, nigga. Stand by at 100%. What you going to do about it, nigga, besides go on your channel and try to grift off my name, you fucking bum? Just like bum. Nature Boy was a fucking bum, grifting off niggas EBT and shit in the woods, nigga, not bathing. You better, you stanky ass niggas better leave me alone. You stanky ass niggas better leave me alone before I beat you, before I get a <laughs> stick of deodorant. Bro, I'm going to beat you well, up with some deodorant. You keep playing with me. I'm going to pull some toothpaste out. Keep playing with me. I'm going to pull out a bar of soap on your bitch ass. Hey, keep playing with me, with nigga. The aerosol, hit him with hit the aerosol him, deodorant. Spray the deodorant on his ass, the aerosol one. <laughs> you take a soap out. He hit it wrong if you took a soap out, bro. It's like bringing a gun to a bottle, bro. Or no. <laughs> I was actually on that stream when you was roasting um the people that support Nature Boy. I remember that shit. Is it is it Bum TV or Crumb TV? Which one is it? Stanky TV. <laughs> yeah, this is the nigga that I seen right here. Uh, is you not from? TV. Is he from Florida? Oh he, my God! Don't disrespect us. Listen, 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 I was joking, Bobby. He's from Stankonia. Stankonia, okay. <laughs> Shout out to Spotty Audi Dolphinish. He from no, Fudge, this, from Fudge <laughs> Avenue. Oh, this is why shit. I got to say this, Sanchez, because as somebody who has, you know, grown my hair out for nine years and then for five years, two different times, I've always, like, I ain't going to say hate it, but niggas who get these wicks, and don't be from Florida. I just, I hate this look right here. I hate this nasty, nappy, like, and I don't want to sound like no cold ass nigga or something, but like this, this ain't healthy, bro. Nothing's it's healthy disgusting. about this. Yeah, yeah, nothing healthy about, even the real Jamaican uh, yard man, rosters will tell you, 
Bro, they don't even do their hair like that. Them boys go out to get real ocean water and wash their hair and condition it still and all that. They don't just right, grow right. their shit, bummy. They Gold oil they shit still and all that. Right. No, I'm saying I be I fuck with the white. real root man. It ain't none yeah. but white little dust bunnies. And you like, feel me, Trippy? If that I man cut a piece of them locks, it is going to be dangerous. Thank you, bro. Like the real root man, bro, listen. The real root man going to tell you, even when they got their hair like that, they got to sit down probably every three to six months, put their head in that hot water, hold some lemon juice up in there, some apple cider vinegar, baking oh. soda, some essential oils and motherfucker let their hair soak for probably like an hour or two and get, get all of that shit up out of the this you know, the nigga out of them wigs when he did looking this. like stuffed animals. When he, when he it be, thank you, thing. Troopy. It be nothing but fucking lint and dirt Real dust. Hey, fucking when, he, when he made the post, when he posted this shit about Sanchez, this, when he did this. It don't matter when he posted it. This how this one I'm finna tell you. When you grow your locks out, bro, you supposed to be able to calm your locks out to a certain length and still have hair. You could tell by the front of his hair how long his hair is. This how unhealthy that, that mean all of that hair that's going down to his chest is dead hair, bro. That's just dead hair well, that's not connected yeah. to the scalp at all. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. This is right, what I be it. telling niggas when they be like, oh, my antennas and this and this and this. I'm like, nigga, if you get the comb and them locks out and them bitches just falling apart with white dust, and cotton ball, your ass just got dirt and garbage in your head. <laughs> Not white dust, man. That's Bro, what them guys are looking uh, sweaty. Dust. White dust. dust. White dust. dust. Disgusting. That's what it looks like. I hold that, that nigga don't smoke. No I hold that nigga don't Troopy smoke. Know, with... Troopy, I'm, Troopy, I'm Troopy. Know what I'm saying? It's not an exaggeration. I mean, I got a head full of locks right now. I hold that nigga don't. Nigga, if I peel one of these motherfuckers apart, it's all type of bullshit in them. And no matter what I do, it's just be just be like that. They hold dirt, smoke, cigarette smoke, nigga, whatever the fuck is in right. the air, nigga. It just it just stays in your hair. No it's matter what. Stay in your hair. You gotta the constantly. Wicks, bro, them wicks is nasty. I could wicks do it. is the worst. I couldn't do the it. The worst, bro. The wicks is the worst, bro. Listen, motherfuckers, nigga. I grew my hair for nine years, then I combed it out. Then I grew it out again for five years. Then I finally calmed it out again. I got braids now because I got tired of like dirt in my dirt in my locks. It's no way around it. Them bitches gonna be <laughs> yeah. dirty, bro. That nigga said the dirty locks. They gonna be I, dirty, bro. I, I Ain't I no heard, way around it. Hey, Bobby, Bobby, I heard of Goldilocks. I never heard of dirty locks, my nigga. God bro, listen, <laughs> those locks gonna be dirty, bro. It's just, it is what it is. You gotta soak them bitches in apple cider vinegar and Angela. baking soda and lemon juice to really get them clean. You got to do mm. that shit every three to six months. Bro, listen, you got to clean let's, your locks. Let's, let's this is the perfect realistic, example, yeah. Sanchez. And that's Rent, being realistic. See, now, I'm going to give you the perfect Rent, example. Look, shit, man. Rent and shit look way more healthier than this that free, nigga this shit. free though. form, though. That's, it, that's free, free form. form. You could tell he just let yeah. it grow like that. But yeah. look at his... Look at his scalp. That's all new growth. So even if he yeah. cut off the top bro, part, the his scalp, his scalp he got a big ass afro, basically. So he could just oh, cut man. that top part of them locks off, grow his motherfucking here, hair baby. out, and have a big hey, afro. Look at my queen, baby. Look at here. Okay. Look at them. That's what we talking about. I see about. you. Look at that. Salute. Salute. Yes, Salute. man. Definitely keep them clean, for you gotta sure. Keep, hey, you got to keep, gotta keep them clean, sis. Like Hold Bobby, on, you got to wash my hair once a week, and I promise man, come you, I on, don't man. like no heavy Hey, no, work. no weed, no weed, gang, over here. I don't put weed in my hair, gang. I love it. Why should it be so dirty when I wash it? I do it once a week. So them niggas talking about they don't wash their hair for months. Man, what the fuck? You got to, you got to keep your hair clean. On the same pillowcases and everything. My sister, that's coming from a man that drank pee pee. That's what oh, I'm telling them, talking about. See, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Then them niggas will look at all us and say, y'all too clean. Y'all ain't woke. You ain't stanky enough. <laughs> nah, fuck that. I, I, think I just got my hair braided today. Fuck all Your that. Neck in, y'all hey. neck ain't black enough. If I ever, if, if I ever be crooked, to be I'm going to ring in the tub and get out the tub. If I ever, if I ever be, if I ever be, if I ever be crooked, to be I'm going to give him a bottle of head and shoulder, bro. <laughs> he going to say, keep that shit away from me, no, nigga. Listen. You trying to kill me? That's kryptonite. Oh, yeah. That's you one of them, that's one of them dirty niggas. Deodorant. He one of them dirty niggas. 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 You gotta tackle and throw in the water. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta tackle him, bitch. Get your ass in that fucking tub. 
Oh, hey, God, 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 that bitch go him, nigga. God, 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 God that's fucked up, oh, nigga. You know when a baby oh. shit up the back, when he shit up his back in the car seat, you don't even want to touch that, nigga. You hey. trying to figure out how to get him. <laughs> hey, 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 real true. Hey, Troopy, you ever seen that movie Shawshank Redemption? Remember when you first get into jail, they hold your ass down, bitch? Get over there, turn the fire hose. Oh, hey, hold yeah. up the door, Bobby. That bitch yeah. can't even go in my bathroom, bitch. We hosing you down outside. That nigga want to live like a dog, oh, clean shit. him off yeah. where the dogs get yeah. cleaned no. off at. No, we ain't going to hose <laughs> that nigga off on the pool. He can't go in the he house until we hose him off. Oh, my God. And you watch that nigga blue dog for the fleas and the man. Hey, hey, Rich. It is like... Back in the that's day when they used to put the hose pipe on there. Like that, but yeah. Look at his, look at his oh, scalp. That's, oh, that's, sister got the uh, YouTube on. Remember back in the South, they used to put the firemen on them niggas with the hose pipe. <laughs> you gotta hit that <laughs> nigga with one of them like races and shit. Like, bro, we ain't trying to be on no Jim Crow shit. But bring out the hoses for this nigga. <laughs> bro, but them locks is ain't from the dog. Uh, the dog uh, opened his nose like, ugh, what the fuck? <laughs> the dog like, oh. Hey, you can lead you can yeah. lead Crumb TV to the water, but can't make him drink it or water. use it. I nigga. Hate water, man. You can lead him to the <laughs> shower, you, but you can't oh, make God. him bathe. Yeah, oh, you can God, lead you that nigga the to the bath. Thing. Yeah, you can lead him to the bathtub, but you gonna have to probably kill that nigga to get him in that <laughs> soap hey, water. Can y'all imagine yeah. what the ring around the tub look like when this nigga get? Oh, bro, this nigga <laughs> make you have to get your bro. You probably gotta get your whole tub reglazed after this nigga get out of there. Get your funky ass out of people bathrooms, <laughs> fucking up the enamel in the tub and shit, nigga. That shit you got on you, you rinsing acid off your body and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey nigga, man, he look like a type hey, of bro. nigga with tartar on his teeth, nigga. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, Troopy, I was watching video that that clip that I played for y'all. Let me play it. Let me show you something to show you I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Watch this. Long time ago, I researched urine therapy. Now look at how old this video is, y'all. Seven years old. You see that? This video seven years old, man. Now check this out, right? Everybody is telling me on the video, Dr. Sabbath drank his pee. And guess what that's called? Monkey see, monkey do. You only drank in your pee because he did it. That let me know if Dr. Sabbath would have ate his boo-boo. Guess what you would have did, son? Made brownies. Now guess what, son? Here go the thing about it. I can learn something from a man and draw the line somewhere. And I can say, well, yeah, Dr. Sebe drunk his piss, but you know what? I ain't going to drink mine, you know. He ate his boo-boo. I ain't going to eat mine, you know. But I no listen way. to the other stuff that he said. I like what he's teaching about the health market and stuff. Why can't you pick and choose? That's what adults do. You, If a dude get a big name... Anything he do, you do. Well, Dr. Sebe drunk his piss. Well, Dr. Sebe ate his boo-boo. Well, Dr. Sebe made a toe jam cracker. He wiped his ass with his hand. Well, doc Dr. Strange says jump off a cliff, innit? Go on. Yeah, yeah. He, he wiped like, his ass with his bare hand. <laughs> and toe jam cracker. <laughs> like them Indian, like them Indian yeah, motherfuckers like, do. They take really shits in public. It. Like, I know a couple motherfuckers that drink their own pee. And I'm like, what? One girl yeah. said that she used it for a birth control method. If she mm. said she drink her pee first thing in the morning and it stops her from getting pregnant. I've I seen a couple saying that he drink his, his wife, his girl drink his piss. He drink her piss. That, that's real love. If you if you don't drink your girl piss, you don't love her. And she don't oh. drink my piss. Oh, no, I ain't never loved love nobody me. then. Hey, let's get, I ain't never loved the fucking <laughs> yeah, soul yeah. then, if that's oh, the God. truth. Hey, look, <laughs> oh, Sanchez, I, now, lightweight smoke, Sanchez, just because since ain't nobody going to bring you none, I'm just going to bring you some funny smoke. Now, you from the South, my nigga, like all my family is, even though I'm born in Chicago, all my people from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Uh, I've heard this since my youth. Women, especially women from the South, 
have always told me when the newborn baby piss in a pamper, you take that pissy pamper and clean your face with it. Yeah, I heard that. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I heard right, that cool. Just, I, I, just so I know we okay. Now I ain't saying drinking piss, but I definitely didn't heard yeah, some granny I've say, that, "Boy, you listen, got a pimple. Get that, that listen, pissy pamper." Let me tell. Let, 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 let me tell. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me holler at Bobby with that. I heard let the pink eye before too. Watch this, Bobby. And from the South, I can tell you right now, there are a lot of old school remedies, Bobby. Hear me out. No interruptions, people. A lot of black folks from the South <clears throat> were poor. And to afford medicines out the store, you really had to have some money. So a lot of folks from the South was having homemade remedies. And guess what you find out? The toxins in your piss will kill certain bacteria. And so if you had a skin disease, but you didn't have money for expensive creams and ointment, yes, that, and guess what? It ain't that they talk to cover yourself and piss in the south. It's that it works. See, my thing about Chrome TV, it may be some. There we go, Sanchez. It, listen what I'm saying. Fuck with you, bro. Listen, I'm telling you, there may be some uses where, and benefits from you using pee some kind of way. But I'm saying we ain't in the old school South no more. We got money and we already using certain technologies. So watch this. If I got a skin disease and a nigga come to me and say, man, put your urine on it. I'm going to say, I'll take the Noxzema. I'll take the Aquaphor. Like I know about 10 different creams right now that I can use before piss. I'm not going to live like I'm in the 1500s and shit. The black people, we like, and, but you will be on the internet, though, but still using old ass, like, look at the medicine that they used to use back in the day, nigga. You not finna take me back to urine treatment and urine cream for the skin. And even though if you, because I ain't gonna lie, that urine will heal your motherfucking breakout. That's a fact. Bobby no I ain't lying. It'll heal it. Hold on, y'all will use. Hold on, not, I'm a listen. I'm a up. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, troop it, troop it. I'm from I'm Indiana. Y'all was you. really using that for like Neutrogena face pads and shit. No, no cap. That's, yeah, hey. people was you. Listen, you say it's crazy until you break out with chicken pox, and you back in the 1500s, Bama, and the ointment your family can't afford it. Yeah, you gonna put that piss on them bumps to get some relief. It's like rubbing alcohol. Now, guess what? People don't that got to do. It's that strong. That, and guess what, bro? Why would I do that now when we got alcohol, though? That's my point with right, Chrome right, TV right, now. Right, right, right. I'm not saying. I'm just saying I, I've never known Castle, that. Well, I, Castle, yeah, I brought that up. I'm like, damn, y'all was using piss for piss. Yeah, piss, listen. Piss for piss, listen, piss? there are several breakouts on the skin that urine will heal. I'm not going to hold you on that. But check this out. Y nigga, we, we in 2024. See, here go my thing right now. In the South, if you get a cut on your uh, leg or something, let's say you skin your leg up. Don't you know if you let a dog lick your sore, it'll heal quicker? I know that sound crazy. If you let the dog lick your wound, that sound like you're going to get infected, don't it? I swear to God, nigga, this is some crazy shit. Listen, watch this. If you got stung by a bee, you know the old man that be chewing the tobacco and spitting it out? They'll put that on your bee sting. Chewing tobacco spit. I'm telling you, they will let an old person with chewing tobacco rub that on your bee sting for pain relief. But see, this was shit that people did who was ball butt po, y'all. <laughs> ain't no nigga in ba ain't niggas in Bama ain't even doing this no more. So a nigga in a big city can't tell me you got an excuse to be still doing this kind of old po slave remedy shit. And they never drunk the shit. Shout out to Bobby. You will hear about them rubbing it on the skin, but I bet you Bobby can't tell me in no instance with the uh, drinking it, though, in the South or the Midwest. Yeah, the skin shit, I get them that, but we don't got to do that no more. Water in the cereal.
But then again, if you listen to these niggas talk about why they drank they urine, it'll be some pseudo bullshit. Man, it gives you better sleep. It fucking gave me an energy boost. It made my IQ higher. I was studying it through it. It, it, it get a <laughs> goddamn nigga. <laughs> it gives you wings. It gives you wings, nigga. That one. <laughs> Set your Can I pull some two cents in that conversation? <laughs> Had to give you wings, Red Bull. And Red Bull look like piss. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, the, yeah only so thing, the only thing I ever heard about piss doing something to the skin. And this came from my uncle, one of my uncles. He passed away uh, two years ago. Uh, so rest in peace, the man. But the only thing that he told me the piece was good is um, if you ever shoot a gun and you know police about to be on your ass, and you know when you shoot a gun, especially them revolvers that are open, the, 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 the pounder from the, from the, from the uh -huh. munition... Piss that will off. get on your skin and for you to to clean your skin so if they come and do some ballistic tests on you to find out if they uh if you was the the shooter or not of that gun it they will won't clean find it. it will clean exactly it won't they won't and, find it but you know what they will find pee pee they will find pee pee but it will not find <laughs> gun pounder i rather i rather have them find pee pee and i am going find right. um, I'm with gun you. pounder <laughs> For real. This is facts, bro. This is oh, man, what the hell hey, happened in here? Don't bro, tell me they shut down my oh, bro. Hold on, this, this, is, this listen, this is real niggas telling you weirdos how we would apply the piss. We would <laughs> we, we ain't drinking it like y'all. Yeah, we'll use it to piss on a nigga hands to beat that case. Nigga, we might even put it on the skin back in the day in the slate when niggas was broke. But we never recommend drinking it. And I don't give a fuck what Dr. Sebi said. And I respect Dr. Sebi, but I bet your Nipsey Hussle ain't never drank this piss. <laughs> and Nipsey hey, Hussle, it. right. Hey, hey. I bet you need to take a uh, motherfucking um, a whole cooler of that shit down to the beach. Give me a bottle of that pee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they be like, okay, we have different oh, types of, they going to be like real true. They going to be like, we have different kinds of pee. Do you want the dark yellow piss, the light yellow piss, the light, light yellow piss? It's levels to this shit. Or the, the golden cherry brown. Twist, the cherry twist piss. You want the golden <laughs> brown or you want the piss with a little bit of blood? Uh, like the, the golden oh, yeah. brown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, you want the yellow, the yellow foamy? The foamy piece. This is a public service announcement. Do not drink your piss. Oh my god! But you know what's crazy? If y'all really wanted to have a laugh, I can hit play on this shit, and we can listen to this man explain to us why he drank his urine. Because I'm five minutes into the video and I haven't heard nothing but blah, 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 blah from a PP mouth. But let's see what the PP mouth got to say. This gave you the, uh, the, the breakdown of how you get pee. What is urine? Urine is ultra plasmic filtrate. It ain't nothing but PP, man. We call it pee. See, I told y'all niggas will make them deep names to make you say, damn, I want to drink some shit like that. That's Superman juice, nigga. What? Ultra plasmic citrate? Shit, pour me up a cup, nigga. I'll take a cup. Shit, I'll take a cup of that, goddammit. Hell yeah, nigga. But that sound like the good shit. But if a nigga say, man, pour him up a cup of that pee-pee, <laughs> see, that hit different. Let's call it what it is, son. Come on. It looks like I'm still alive. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking to myself right. Dr. Back. Man, your breath smell like pee pee. Anything extra mm. goes out the front. Pee. Oh, let's rewind it. Now he finna talk about boo boo verse. Why you don't make boo boo brownies, but you make pee pee aid. Let's see. If you get thirsty, you drink. If you uh, uh, itch, you scratch. This is called balance, people. The itchy and scratchy show. Nigga, you scratched two minutes into the video. Your kidneys are responsible for maintaining balance. I just gave you the, uh, the, the breakdown of how you get pee. What is urine? Urine is 
ultra plasmic filtrate. So now um, you're peeing out water. And the water has been filtered oh by my the kidneys. God. And it has, because, oh, well, your kidneys. Lies, lies, lies. You're peeing out water with toxins in it, with stuff that the body don't want in it. Listen, there's stuff in your body that you got to drink water to remove it. To, to kind of dilute, like a river, right? You got to dilute it with the water and flush it out, man. Flush it out. With, every nigga know, and this ain't, you don't got to be deep for this nigga. Watch this. <clears throat> if you're sick, right? Guess what the main healing is? Liquids in bed. <clears throat> I don't give a fuck what medicine you taking. Liquids in bed. Guess what they going to say? Give him soups. Drink all this water, OJ, all that, and just rest up, man. You letting your body pass this shit through. Because whatever in you, with enough liquids in the body and rest, you're going to be pissing, pooping. Your poop going to be mushy. Everybody know how when you're sick, and that's the sickness coming out. That's like sense. So I'm going to tell you why this is dangerous, right? Don't you know if you pin and you got certain sicknesses and illness in your body that you don't know about, your body literally push that out through a, 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 a stool or through, through you peeing? Like, how don't you know how your body work, nigga? <clears throat> how don't you know there's bad things in our body that got to come out? And they come out when we shit and piss, and you eat them right back again into your body, you fool. <laughs> Kidneys, uh, uh, um, your pee is waste. Your pee is not waste. Your pee is vitamins. New Do y'all hear this shit? This boy think his pee is sun of delight. Your pee is not waste. It's vitamins, nutrients, nutrition, and you should have a glass. This is a straight weirdo. <clears throat> you literally gonna tell me that my pee ain't waste? <clears throat> Nutrients. If my pee ain't waste, guess what, y'all? My boo boo ain't waste. Ain't that a fact? How can one, like, one is liquid waste, the other one is solid waste? That's how I thought my body worked. If you telling me, no, that's not liquid waste, then you got to say, well, no, that's not solid waste either. You can eat that boo-boo just like you can drink that poo-poo. It, it is nutrients. It's vitamins. So while the rest of us pouring up our sun and delight in the morning, you going to see this nigga pissing in a cup. Let's go, man. This is madness. Bro. <laughs> Minerals, iron. All the good things that were extra. Whatever comes out that you crap out, that's the crap you don't need. See what I'm saying? You telling me that my body only gets rid of solid waste. But you don't know why we got a garbage man and a sewage man. And, and everybody know we dealing with solid liquid gas. Your chimney on your house Gets rid of the gases in your house, you fucking fool. Your fucking garbage can. That's your ass. That's the solid waste. The trash man come for that, nigga. Your goddamn piss, that's the sewage system. This a damn dummy. How you gonna look at your ass and say that boo-boo is waste, but this piss that's stinging with ammonia, guess what? I can drink that. You a goddamn retarded, weird, nasty ass fool, and I'ma keep making videos about you if you don't keep my name out your mouth. All you got to do is talk about me one more time, nigga, and I'm just not gonna stop on you no more. You can't apologize after that. I'ma get this bitch ass nigga out, and this one I'ma tell him. Leave me alone, man, and I'll leave you alone. But if you mention me one more time, I'm just going to make you a regular part of my programming, nigga, and it ain't nothing you can do after that. I'm just going to make sure I do at least one video about you a month, roasting you. You want attention from me, nigga? I'm going to get paid being a comedian off your stanky ass. So now your iron, let's say you ate too much iron, you're going to pee that out. But let's say your ass.
Yeah, and let's say you got a STD that you don't know about. Guess what, yo? That's gonna be in your piss too. You can fuck around and get gonorrhea in your throat listening to this nigga. I can't make this up. Somebody stop me when I'm lying, nigga. Just say a nigga got a STD he don't know about. And I'm just hypothetically speaking. Cause a nigga feel it later or something. Cause he don't he practicing whatever. But check it out, nigga. I'm making a point with this. Your body don't just piss out extra things. And I don't know if that's true because your body will store extra nutrients. Your body don't get rid of nothing but waste. Extra shit ain't waste, dummy. You can't give your body too much of a good thing. It got places to store that shit at and use it when it need it. That's like saying your body going to piss out all the extra fat that you eating. Then it wouldn't be no fat people, you big fucking dummy. <laughs> your body going to get rid of everything that's access out of your out of you pissing. So it wouldn't be no fat people, nigga. You got this shit all wrong. Your fucking piss is your body filtering out the liquids in your body. And your shit is your body filtering out the solids in the gut. Because you got two intestines, large and small. One liquid, one for solid. Your body got, is, is made mostly of liquids. Those, that li the liquids that make our body got to be filtered. It's like a swimming pool. Water coming in, water coming out, going through the filtering system. You drink water, you piss water. You eat food, you shit food. It's a natural ecosystem. If every human drunk they piss and ate they shit, flowers wouldn't grow. Nature wanted that on the ground. I guarantee you a rose flower benefit more with you pissing on it than you drinking that piss. You bad, nigga, humans can benefit better with green tea. Let me share something with you. Look at what the Bible say. <clears throat> Watch this. The Bible say the herbs are for the healing of the nations. Don't you know it's over a million different plants in the Amazon? All of them heal something on our body. Don't you know it ain't a disease out there that, and it ain't a plant on earth can't heal it. You go right to let me pull up a cup of piss. A nigga like me say, I wonder what plants I can fuck with to heal this particular problem I got. I'm thinking herbs. You thinking pee pee with your weird ass stinking nigga. You better leave me alone, boy. I got rage in my heart for niggas like you, boy. Sh straight up, boy. Then you can see how simple it is. Then you Dr. Sabi believes what ails you can be cured with natural alkaline herbs and a vegetarian diet solely made up of what he calls electric foods. So with that being said, for all of you boo-boo lovers, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce my friend to you boo-boo lovers. Here we go. So this here is my little friend, Shitty Man. I've been clowning you boo-boo levels and pee, pee drinkings. Hold, hold on. This for you, my nigga. Uh, bomb TV, you fucking boo-boo brownie eater and PPA uh, brewer. He, he don't play for the Milwaukee Brewers. He play for the PP Brewers. Let, I got a joke for you. I got a friend I want to introduce you to, boo-boo man. So with that being said, for all of you boo-boo lovers, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce my friend to you boo-boo lovers. Here we go. So this here is my little friend, <laughs> Shitty Man. <laughs> and he just want to talk to you boo-boo lovers for a minute. Talk to him, Shitty Man. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, man, y'all need to quit making them goddamn boo-boo brownie and drinking that goddamn piss aid. Dr. Seven do not teach that crap. And don't argue with me, goddammit. I am a turd. And I'm telling you to leave the damn boo-boo brownies alone. Hello. <laughs> that boy.
boy, I've been a fool. Hold on. I got to rewind that nigga. I'm tripping like a bubble. Drop a one if y'all want me to replay shitty man. Hold on, nigga. Don't make me bring shitty man back, Crumb TV. You damn boo-boo lovers, get on my nerve, but your breath smell like ammonia, son. Boo-boo lovers, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce my friend to you boo-boo lovers. Here we go. So this here is my little friend, Shitty Man. <laughs> and he just want to talk to you boo-boo lovers for a minute. Talk to him, Shitty Man. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, man. Y'all need to quit making them goddamn boo-boo brownie and drinking that goddamn piss aid. Dr. Seven do not teach that crap. And don't argue with me, goddammit. I am a turd. And I'm telling you to leave the damn boo-boo brownies alone. Hello! 40 years ago, a doctor in Mexico <laughs> cured... <laughs> Boy, you better leave me alone, boy. You gonna get me back in my bag. I will fucking get, I will go viral roasting your dingy ass, nigga. Better leave, a nigga like you, nigga with my name in your mouth. Boy, you better stop. You, they must ain't tell you who I really was. Don't do that to yourself, Crumb TV, for real. I'm too fly and you too stanky. It's a handicap match, my nigga. Go ahead. Who want the mic? I'm going to share it with my peoples, man. That's, that's, that's terrible, man. You done him dirty, bro, honestly. Yeah, he does, bro. He does. You, he, you, you beat on that shit. That's just crazy. Ass is eating Dunkin' fucking donuts. You're gonna shit that out. Watch this dumbass nigga. This nigga think all the bad shit come out your booty and all the good shit come out your uh penis. Ain't that some dumb shit? I want the people on my panel to just sink that in a minute. <laughs> about that shit bro bro this is gonna get somebody sick man yo this man said and you just ate some dunkin donuts you're gonna shit that out so okay what if i just drunk some poison i'm gonna piss that out no you're gonna piss out nutrients vitamins you're gonna boo boo out the poison even if you're drunk it. <laughs> it's gonna turn solid like this nigga think bad things come out the booty Good things come out the penis. So pour me up a cup of piss and flush that shit down the toilet. Boy, you a fucking fool, boy. <laughs> Anybody want to talk about how dumb that is? Everybody Good, don't yeah. deserve a mic. God right. damn. Did that man, that man just say you eat <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts? Don't, don't, like, at this point, we've the reached truth. a point of consciousness to where it, uh, <laughs> discernment <laughs> is out the window. It's literally niggas who get on this bitch and go, yeah, uh, save up your toenails and fingernails for a year, grind them up, and that turn into butter. You ain't even got that shit, low cholesterol butter. You make out of toenail shavings and shit. Don't even worry about fungus or none of that shit. When you scrape off, yeah, you black off your nasty, teeth. Man. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> If we reusing oh, yeah. everything, <laughs> scrape the plaque off your teeth and save that up for a year. That's free mayonnaise. You just grind that up with a little bit of water. You got plaque mayonnaise. You just add two shots. Every, everything is reused. Miracle whip. Don't look. Don't get in the tub and wash your body. No, you're supposed to scrape all that dead skin off dry and catch that in a plastic bag and make yourself dead skin salad. That's how that's how you reuse the nutrients. Everything is reusable, right? Hell no, man. Nigga, all that you got dandruff. Look, if you got dandruff, 
Oh, hey, look, if you got dandruff, yeah. that ain't dandruff. That's Parmesan cheese. Say yeah. that shit up for oh, you. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. 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 Bobby. That yeah. dead yeah. skin. skin. But uh, hold on, hold on. No, I yeah. know what yeah. I can make with that dead skin, Bobby. Let's go back, right? What are we you doing, can, nigga? You can with take the dead. that dead skin. And you can make you know you can dry it out to fruit roll ups and oh, and, you can, and, and you can call that shit the dead skin scrolls versus the, the dead, dead sea scrolls <laughs> and roll them bitches up a hey, skin motherfucking roll ups nigga that we, we got do skin roll up. this shit we is hilarious roll ups dead skin but them niggas on your <laughs> ass boy that nigga said. You can take the butter off your teeth and make margarine with it, nigga. Goddamn. Ah, oh, get on the <laughs> ass, Bobby Killer. Nah, keep that shit going, nigga. This is fucking funny. Hey, hey you know bro. when you go get a haircut, all that hair they can save on them. Man, them niggas dumb. You ain't supposed to be sweeping that shit up, throwing away. See, you supposed to be. <laughs> that's how they make cotton candy in the <laughs> old west. Not the cotton you candy, nigga. Nah, nigga. <laughs> <ain't all> the- <laughs> You're supposed to save all the hair up and season it with raw sugar cane. That's how you make natural hey, cotton candy. He go, oh, hey, he go, go get a haircut. He's he going to charge that nigga pasta. $300. Just throw his motherfucking wigs away. $300. This nigga the most natural nigga pasta, you man. ever made. Look, that's one. That's a nigga right there. As soon as you get ready to hock a luga, you be like, hold on, let me grab my bag real quick, nigga. Nope, you, you try to waste <laughs> something. <dude. laughs> hey, bro, I just watched like all the way through his video, like the end and shit, and he said he talking about he gonna come back on live tonight, so that nigga probably start up, but Ain't no real beef, man. This is the type of nigga you smack the piss out of. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Bro, man <laughs> drinking piss, bro. Man hey, hey, awakening. Bro, bro. If you it. slap the piss out that nigga awakening, he gonna say, keep on slapping me, nigga. Now, not many more piss bottles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's mine. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> yeah, look. Hey, hey, let me ask y'all a question. How many jugs of peas you think he got on his fridge right now, bro? I guarantee you right now. This nigga, look, he probably got seven gallons of a <laughs> empty water bottle piss jug sitting on top of the fridge right now. Look, seven gallons, bro. You seven. It, right. He bro, got seven bro, piss enough, gallons. Nigga, I pit- Bro, I piss seven gallons a day anyway. My man's got a deep freezer with like beef jerky, nigga. That's piss, where he nigga. keeps the piss popsicles at, Troopy. Yes, nigga. We, Troopy, gotta, we got to break. He got a whole piss diet. He got the seven My gallons of piss water. Hey, but what if you got <laughs> a piss? What if you, what, if you, what, if you, what if you thirsty and you don't got a piss? What do you do? These niggas is weird. <laughs> Oh oh my God. God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> he is a predicament. He even drink water. <laughs> that nigga go. That nigga go try to drink that water like the niggas that got motherfucking rabies and shit. That nigga gonna be shaking like a motherfucker. Oh, good. He even got to drink water. Ask somebody for some beef. <laughs> yeah, he gonna ask some wow, other niggas for some wrong. beef. <laughs> He's losing it, man. He lost his marbles, bro. That nigga tripping, bro. That nigga so... Um, you remember when bro did his stream on Hassan Cam, bro? I think this was Check like this last out. week. Check this out, though. Go ahead, on, on some real shit, though. I guarantee you we can start researching. I'm going to open up the screen share. Y'all really... We finna go beyond the jokes now. The jo- it's about to get even funnier when we research all of the toxins that's in urine. We can pull it up on the screen, nigga. Show you what you're drinking. Ammonia and all that shit. Don't let me go, nigga. We just roasting now. Don't let me really teach your ass what the fuck you drinking, nigga. And you think your teachings can fuck with mine? What, our shit? What we got? Nigga, nigga, this shit, nigga, you niggas ain't. No, dog. It's not a fair match. Bro, he's in the cr- he's in the pipe, bro. Oh, he, that guy lost it. That nigga in the trap. <laughs> That's what that nigga had. He in the trap. Plus ass niggas. 
hey, he's the type of nigga to squeeze a pimple and be like, nigga, that's not um pus. That's that's um reusable uh spread. You supposed to <laughs> spread <laughs> that over crackers. Pus. Yeah, that ain't right. pus. See. That's yeah, plus, that, you know. That's, that's plus. plus, right? Right. <laughs> like, you know, he you know, doing you know, word etymology. Yeah, he say you know, the L, right, right. right. Extra, extra. That's know, right. Body extract is extra. You know. See the extra. <laughs> now we go awaken it, and it's plus. See, because the skin. See, black people's skin hold extra melanin. So what you call pus for us is plus. <laughs> Extractable. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was just thinking about, yo. I was just thinking about some shit. And I'm tripping too, man. But I was just thinking about this dude really believes, right? <laughs> he he fucking really believes that that good thing. <laughs> this hard for me to say. I'm I'm in silly mode. Forgive me, y'all. But this man believes that. Good things come out of his penis, <laughs> and, bad, and bad things <laughs> come out of his ass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I just had to think about that shit a minute. I know it sounds silly, but just think about this a minute, y'all. <laughs> My stomach tight as a bitch. Hold on, think about this a minute. This in this man's in his mind, right? In his mind, good things come out of your penis. <laughs> Bad things come out of your ass. And my thing is this right here, bro. My thing is this. This nigga is saying, my penis deliver gifts and my ass deliver curses. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my booty is the devil and my penis is God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit, my stomach hurt. Boy, you fucking retarded. That nigga he said got any, <laughs> Versace, he got any turned on bottom with himself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Nigga. Nigga, this is the funniest shit ever. My ass delivereth curses. But my penis. Deliver of gifts. Ah, uh, mm, nigga, this, this, uh, this, uh, nigga. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is your mentality. This y'all man. So I'm just fucking with you. Oh man, he's, this is crazy, he's, boy. He's this is part crazy. of the nature boy tribe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lord Arcan, I bet you won't click the link and come up and defend this nigga. That nigga said I'm gay. But he defending a nigga that like golden showers in his mouth. Y'all weirdos. This I'm the part gay, that I'm, but you, for you, I'm, you know? I'm gay, but you defending a nigga that's defending nature boy who said he's gay. Everybody nature boy is a rapist, man. Yeah, uh, come on, nigga. And you, and you a coward who won't hit the link, so we're going to block you now. What's up with that part, Sanchez? Not, not to make a little quick sidebar, but I've been seeing a lot of that lately, too. Like, when a nigga address some smoke like I, I like how you do this shit my nigga buddy came at you and you got right on the motherfucking live nigga what's up nigga with nigga it's a problem whatever he see you live right now i guarantee you he know you talking about him right now instead of him coming to address you it's a nigga in the chat that just like what this nigga say up here fighting harder for this nigga than the actual man. What's up with these? What's up with niggas trying to defend niggas to the point to where the actual niggas don't even fight for themselves? Like, if me, nigga, if I knew Sanchez in real life and a nigga had real smoke, I'd be like, nigga, that go Sanchez right there. Talk that shit now. I won't be sitting there like, nigga, no, Sanchez, my brother. Woo, I'll be like, nigga, you want me to get Sanchez? These niggas be I'll go get cowards. that nigga right now, whoop your ass. What's up? What's up? Like, I don't get this that, shit. Man? Crom TV tell them boys be... make up, man, the box, Hey, listen, man. I'm going to tell, tell you some real box. shit. On uh -uh, some real shit. Crom TV wouldn't be calling me the ops if we met up, man. And I ain't saying like I'm the toughest nigga and I can't take an ass whooping. It's just that it, you're going to see that I don't, uh, nigga, I ain't scared of shit. You gonna, you ain't gonna smell no fear in my presence when it's time for some to turn up with the shit, and I'm gonna be ready to go to the heart. 
you ain't going to take it to a limit where I, 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 I'm scared to take it to, from the pistol play to all that. And you'll see that, damn, this nigga uh, throw his whole life away for one of you haters. Yeah, that's why really it's good I don't bump into one of you niggas. Because if you act like you really like that, I'm going to get you what you want. though. I'm going to yeah, win away, or man. lose, you know. That shit don't even be worth it. And then nine times out of ten, if you do actually bump into a nigga off here that's talking real greasy <laughs> like that, I guarantee you, it really be admiration, bro. I've seen this shit. I seen, I ain't gonna say the names of the niggas who I seen do this fake. Oh, we finna link up. Woo, woo, woo. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm talking about niggas out there where you at, Sanchez, in Vegas. Niggas talk all this big brolic shit over the internet. Then next thing you know, when them niggas link up, what you see? Pictures. Oh, peace, brother. You know, it's just some friction. What the fuck? Y'all niggas like talk this, all this right? shit on this shit just to get up with each other and take pictures and be like, hey, man, we bringing the community. Shut the fuck up, man. This, this, this the type shit I'm on. If I bump into one of these niggas, I'm going to automatically bring up the shit you said disrespectful online. I'm not going to be smiling. Hey, bro, Sanchez, uh-uh. Remember what you said? I'm going to come right with it and open that up if I was to see one of you. And we're going to just have to talk about it. Ain't like we got to get physical. But then if you want to turn up and all that, and guess what? I'm, I'm a legal type nigga. If some spit pop on me, or if your hand touch me the wrong way, because I'm a verbally abuse. Yeah, I'm going to verbally abuse the shit out of you. I'm going to call you all kind of bitches and hoes when I see you. And if that trigger you to, to get a spit on me or anything on me, my nigga, I'm just going to tell you like this, bro. People ain't going to sub to me no more. I'm going to lose subs. They're going to say, damn, man, that nigga be talking peace and love and shit. He ain't hot to do the man like that. He could have, like, come on, nigga. You could have stopped, too. Like, but I'm going to just release so much on you, nigga, just to make a point to other niggas. Quit playing with me. And if you and win, and guess what, though? If you win, then you win. And you can do that to me. But it ain't gonna be no fears, and I'm gonna die hard, not soft. He for but sure you know you live right now talking about him because it's a couple comments in that video he just uh did talk about yeah, Sanchez live right now talking about you and this is that. So he that man pussy, he ain't gonna come through. Not at all. Hey, hey, bro. How is he gonna come real, through, hey, bro? Hold on, no let me tell. Hold on, let me tell. Hey, bro, such let me be honest with you. You better weed, bro, because if a if a nigga that drink piss beat you up, <laughs> you really go to lose some stuff. And then we gonna have a bunch of nigga drinking hey, piss, bro. We can't right. afford that, bro. I gotta we say, I gotta back you gotta K-O, man. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, you better not lose some old nigga. That, Cause no listen, way. if he that nigga get in the ring before and he drink a cup of piss and he go like Popeye and it actually work, God Sanchez, it might be some niggas out here pissing in cups after the club. Man, fuck that shit, shit bro. <laughs> show niggas, gonna be out here bro, bro. Show niggas, you, you know jump what? On the chair like if six, that bro, nigga beat up. me with that <laughs> piss breath, guess what it was? <laughs> it's the fact that man, that that smell. He used to the smell of ammonia. I'm not. Think about it, bro. If you fighting a nigga and he breathing ammonia out of his mouth, he like a dragon. That's a dragon in the ring. He oh, cheating. That's, for that's real, cheating, bro. bro. You got oh, a whole God. nother it's a weapon, done deal, bro. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you breathing ammonia out your mouth like a dragon, and I'm trying to breathe, get catch my breath. I'm smelling piss and boo boo. <laughs> like you win, nigga. You won, man. Shit. <laughs> Bro, what about if he if he blow you and kids, bro? Why y'all fighting? God damn, nigga, he would <laughs> melt. Remember them niggas back in the old wrestling days? They used to blow the shit out their mouth. The old wrestling, they'll blow like little colors out their mouth, and not the luchadors. I'm talking about they'll be like, but they'll blow little. Y'all don't. That's back in the day wrestling. That was when. Andre the Giant wasn't even the big show. He was the old giant. Y'all don't even know about that. You say that nigga gonna come out like LeBron James? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
spitting that uh be Belvedere out of his mouth, Victor. <sighs> nah. That nigga go come out like old school Papa Shango nigga blowing that piss <laughs> dust in your face. <laughs> <laughs> nigga go do voodoo. Then nigga go do <laughs> piss <laughs> back <laughs> <on> that shit, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey boy, that intro of that video was oh, funny. Shit. Boy, that nigga had a million uh, greetings, bro. That shit was funny. Mm. Bro. That nigga say Namaste, good night, wake up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hallelujah, <laughs> Hail Satan. Like nigga, them two different gods. What the fuck? That nigga say Hadouken, 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 Hadouken. Oh, you know what he forgot to say? Can... He forgot to say que es la que, que lo que hay. That nigga supposed to say Kami Kami Ha, nigga. Dragon Ball Z is supposed to do the Goku shit, too. Play that shit again, bro. Kami 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 Ha, nigga. Y'all want to hear that shit again, bro. Where's the respect, bro? Play it again, bro. Oh, we got to hear it again. You right, bro. So, uh, because I roasted it, now I got to let all y'all niggas roast it, bro. Cause he's fucking, he's got them shit I locks, always bro. thought this shit them was shit funny. Locks. He's not the only one to do this. Vicky Dillard do this. All them, um, like the pseudo, you know, Oshun calling motherfuckers. You know, this is crazy. Peace be filming. This your boy, Young Pharaoh, and you are now watching Crumb TV. This is Daniel, LOLJK, and you're now watching Crumb TV. Hey, this is Reggae Boy, and I'm watching Crumb TV. Watching Crumb TV? You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Miss Diva, and you are watching Crumb TV. You are now watching. And niggas like this will go up into their camera with a bunch of folks and say, let me get a shot. Tell them you're now watching Crumb TV. A goofy ass nigga like that. Come on, let me get a little cut for my camera, man. Say you're now watching Crumb TV. Nigga, I don't know. No, no, you'll never see me with one of these, nigga. I got a fly ass pimped out theme song. Play my shit, Becky, for this PP -pee breath, nigga. Bet you ain't got one of these, PP -pee breath. Hey, PP -pee -pee breath, where your theme song at, Rudy Poop? Niggas that drink piss can't get theme songs, nigga. Let's hey, Crumb TV. Namaste, ass, nigga. Brr, brr. Crumb TV. Crumb TV. Bomb TV. And you're watching Crumb. None of them people that gave you these shots even probably subbed to your ass, nigga. Every show he's scratching his hair. That Tell me I'm lying. TV, man. Tell me every show this that man ain't fleas, scratching. Cause... He got fleas. He no Chrome TV, that shit TV, man. Look, I'm going to show you this. Watch this. Watch this. About Watch this. Half our plasma and half red Watch blood this. cells. You got a low amount of red blood cells. Now what you're supposed to do? Eat iron, just like I told you on my last video. If you go look up what you're supposed to be eating, it's going to tell you McDonald's. It's going to tell you chitlins. It's going to tell you uh, 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 the roaches of the, sh uh, of the sea, which is our shrimp. But no, you're supposed to be eating dark leafy greens. So now let's say. Look at him scratching his hair. Please. Now look at this. Dark and look. lovely. How, how you scratching your hair every video? You dirty ass dog. And look how long them locks is. You've been scratching shampoo. your hair for four hey. years straight. Hey, you what, can man, tell this so but... You can tell the son is cooking the fleas. That's what happened, nigga. Yeah, hell yeah, hell the yeah. The son, yeah. <laughs> the son yeah. is Let, cooking I'm gonna the tell you, right, That nigga got lice. He got lice. As Sanchez, a black man. this is why, listen, this is why niggas like this, niggas like Alkaline City, this is why I've been telling you I've been wanting to smoke with these niggas on this health bullshit forever, Sanchez. I've been motherfucking 12, 13 years plant-based. I'll be 42 years old this motherfucking year. This nigga probably at least 10 years younger than me. I don't even know how old he is, but he just look dusty and dirty. Than him. Like, I, I hate when niggas like be teaching health, but be like, look like this. This is bad marketing and advertising. Nobody would ever want to be healthy looking like this. Niggas like niggas who get up on the screen who eat steak and all that shit. They don't look like this when they promote they eating lifestyle and all. They look healthy and shit. This nigga look fucking nuts. Talk about drinking piss and shit. 
Everybody who talked that shit like that, mm. look, just like this nigga, that dirty ass white lady, this mm -mm. dirty ass nigga, that dirty ass white Bad. man, even Doc, man, listen, I, I hate to, even Dr. Savy looking bang, like a, a sickly shit. old this nigga, what you man. Gotta realize, I'm sorry, nigga. This is what you got to realize, nigga. <clears throat> I fuck with Dr. Savy, but he still was a tether, nigga. I, 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 I just think he was a genius. It's a nigga in Ethiopia that invented the electric car before Elon. I think niggas like him, nigga, I ain't, I ain't beefing with these tethers more than this damn colonizer. You know, so my thing, but some of these tethers working with the colonizer, a lot of niggas, I don't think Dr. Sebi was fucking with the colonizer, but check this out. They said he healed a lot of celebrities. What, I mean, did you heal a lot of Pope oh. children? I'm finna tell I you where he him. healed him from. <clears throat> but you know. Dr. Sabi was carrying Jenkins. niggas from VDs and STDs. But I don't want to go too far to the Dr. Sabi shit. Yeah, because we got to get what, back to PP, pee -pee, Right, because we going to stay on PP, pee -pee, man. Yeah, now I'm going to say. A, I'm that's, say. A, that's a sidebar <laughs> for all of this health. He's health the piss mechanic. Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas talking yeah. about some drink your piss. Do this, do that, drink some iron. Bro, listen, if you want iron in your body, the easiest way to get iron, Sanchez, you want to know why our people used to have not iron problems back in the day? Here goes some shit that you even know, Sanchez. People in the South, like my granddaddy and granny, they didn't sweeten shit with sugar. They sweeten shit with molasses. Tell me I'm lying about that. This, ain't, that, this so ain't nothing but big old facts. In fact, nigga, when I was real little, Guess what? Here go the syrup that they the was Cairo uh, syrup. Let's talk about it. Hey, this that, this that, probably a form no, of no. it. But see, this right here is made like with molasses, molasses. and shit. Oh, that it, thick black it, strap it, it, shit. it take yep. it forever to come out, nigga. It's thick as yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. Now listen, that. this is why our people didn't have iron. Think about it, Sanchez. At a point in time, they used to use sweeten sodas with that shit tea with that shit. Anything you sweeten, you sweeten with molasses. Molasses is so fucking high in iron. This is why we didn't have iron problems. Everything we cooked in was iron. Cast iron pot, cast iron skillet, cat this, that, a copper this. Like, we wasn't even eating stainless steel dishes. Yeah, but so we didn't fact, have yeah. the, we didn't have these type of problems back. Right now, if anybody want to correct their iron problem, like if you somebody that's anemic, like a lot of these sisters be anemic, especially after pregnancy, because it strip them of a lot of their minerals. I'm finna give you a simple thing. You ain't gotta drink no piss or none of this goofy shit. <laughs> One tablespoon of molasses in a cup of orange juice every morning. Stir it up real good. Drink that. The vitamin C help the iron get into your blood quicker. You could thank Bobby Knight for that. And you know, a lot of trees facts, excrete facts, that bro. shit. Oh, you know, and that's facts, Bobby. That was big. A lot of trees excrete this type of shit, you know, like syrup, sugar, you know. All like the, that's where it all come from, mm -hmm. trees. That's Maple the real syrup. Iron. That's why they stand Thank up you. Like that, though, you know, but yeah, Bobby, Bobby, that, that goes into cymatics too, though, you know, Bobby. But you know. but they don't want to get this. Did you see what I'm saying? They just want to get to piss and all this. Uh, uh, other goofy ass, rubbish. Like, you feel me, bro? Like, man, that's why I fuck with the real I child rosters <laughs> and like different frames of school of thoughts. Like, it, like when niggas no, say no, really Bobby, take the meat and spit out the bar. Not mm -hmm. to cut you off, bro, but them man couldn't go to. I don't know if you know man like Sizzler and them guys, but that guy is not a raster, bro. He's a pasta, bro. That guy is not. Uh, he's pasta, bro. <laughs> pasta. He's lost his I ain't mother. talking about. Bro. I ain't talking about like Sizzler, bro. I'm talking about niggas up in the mountains. I know what I know, y'all man. I know I ain't talking about no celebrity like Sizzler, Buju, <laughs> Manton, motherfucking yeah. Beanie, Beanie Man, who motherfuckers say I look like. I'm talking about them niggas who be up in the mountains. St. Catherine, niggas that come on, man. Anne, Jamaica, come on, man. Them, like them boys live in the mountains. Yeah, they get nah, they from these the guys root. because he's not a clean, pure. He's that guy's lost it, bro. Oh, God, even the sun, the sun is telling him to go take a shower, dude. Making you itch and shit. Go take a shower, <laughs> nigga. Bro, listen, the real the niggas who live in the woods don't even <laughs> live like this.
Right, they shower all, and shit. They bathe. They go in the, the they go in the they rivers and the spring, ocean and, and the clean they so they that, get that licorice cool. sticks and they clean their teeth with mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, licorice sticks right. and shit. You know what I mean? They get they get like eucalyptus leaves and peppermint uh -huh. leaves and mint leaves That's and rub right. them on their body so they can smell good. Like this real fact. Bro, Bobby, uh -huh. hold up. But what do you say to a nigga that say your doctor wrong? Urine is not waste. Now your boo boo, that's waste. But that pee pee, let me drink that nigga. This is what I'ma say to this nigga. This an easy experiment. Take you for ten days and take the, take a nigga that drink clean uh spring water for ten days and just let a doctor test y'all blood after ten days. <laughs> he gonna have you a see pee pee blood. Simple shit. Bro, that nigga blood gonna be full of so many free radicals and toxins. The doctor gonna be like, nigga, you need a saline, you need a saline drip right now just to flush like your blood. It's like, don't, don't leave, don't leave. They, Bobby, they go to quarantine. Oh, God, hey, put that nigga in a hazmat unit. Say, bitch, you need to be in, you need, they gonna hook his veins straight to the saline drip and say, no, we can't. Oh, this is what they gonna tell him, Sanchez. They gonna say, ethically, we can't let you leave the hospital right now, nigga. We got to strap <laughs> you <laughs> into the world. Right we there. don't know who you might infect with this shit, nigga. Oh, you, good. You building up, Sanchez. Them the type oh, of niggas shit. that create new oh, viruses shit. within their body. Boy, you oh, a human. Man. You a human dirty bomb, nigga. You can't walk in a, in a <laughs> world like this. A human Bro, dirty bomb. Bro, that this is fucking that crazy. That nigga said they would have to quarantine this nigga, man. Oh God, God damn, bro! That nigga, that nigga God gonna damn. hit the link. That nigga gonna hit the link to talk to you, bro. And the first oh, thing you gonna say to this nigga is, "What's below the waist?" Oh, waist. <laughs> what the fuck, the nigga gonna put, say after that? I done put that shit on a t-shirt, nigga. Not, everything below the, below the waist, waist is waist, <laughs> nigga. What the what fuck, the nigga? What the fuck, no. <laughs> That ought to be the new rule. Like it sounds like I'm teaching a little child. Hey, son, everything below the waist, that's waste. Don't eat your boogers. Don't drink your pee pee, son. You got to tell. I can drink my pee because it's called calcium nitrate carbonate. What the fuck, nigga? You try. You can't rename that boo boo and make it be a brownie. That's that's shit, nigga. Like, what are you doing? Y'all see how we gotta <laughs> rename it? He the type uh, nigga that'll get mad if you call it pee. It's not pee. It's not urine or piss. You got to ch ch change your mind. He the right. type of nigga you do not want a smoothie from. <laughs> I got to give a Bro, big shout out. Uh, Toilet face, man. Hey, check out, check out the sister in the chat, Valley. And I got to give her a shout out because uh, she just said the realest shit and It'd be so simple that niggas like this get us away from root shit that we've been knowing. Sleep is the ultimate healer. Didn't, didn't your granny just used to say, sleep just go to sleep, man. Just, yeah. just sleep. Right, Sanchez? Just, yeah. oh, man, my stomach. Just go to sleep. Sleep in some water. Man, I think, drink that, some drink water. some water and drink go water. to fucking to sleep. To sleep. Wow. What happened to niggas just being like, man, you ain't been... This nigga look like he been up for four days straight talking about some. I'm trying to figure out how to heal myself. Go your bitch <laughs> ass the four fucking bed, no nigga. Shower. <laughs> With your dingy hair ass. That I ain't gonna lie though, nigga. Them them dreads look like they struggling on this picture, man. Need some pee, bro. That shit bro. make me never want dreads, nigga. Don't even do Bob Marley like that, though. It's no like, vitamin E in this nigga hair. This is literally Nowhere close to my You hear me, y'all, man? There's <laughs> no type of oil. <laughs> Yo, that yeah, shit begging for sure. some lubrication. Definitely begging for some a, lube. Yeah. That shit is a <laughs> desert. Like, I'm looking at this nigga hair, and a hairstylist, like a sister, would instantly be like, man, come on, man. You need a hot oil treatment. You need a, a nice conditioner, man. And, you know, we gonna blow all this fucking lint off your hair and shit, nigga. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I'm gonna tell, tell, uh, no tell y'all no some real nah. shit, right? I'm gonna tell you some real shit, and I'm, I'm gonna do a test. Now, I hate to put y'all on the spot, but I'm gonna show you something about bomb TV. Now, real niggas know what I'm about to do. Watch this, nigga. If I can't walk up to you, let me get. What's wrong with my damn nigga? My shit acting crazy today. Why can't I? 
Did Zoom change? Is it on speaker? What are we doing here? Gallery? I can't zoom in to show y'all what I'm talking about. Hold on. There we go. So check it out, right? Right now, nigga, I'm on a black desk. This can make or break me. I'm finna do something right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, Sanchez. Oh, you sure shit. Hold on. Sure ain't no Parmesan come out that motherfucker? No, nah, I'm going to show you some shit. <laughs> This shit still black, ain't it? Don't it. It's still black. I don't see no, I don't see no I Parmesan you, cheese. I bet you if Crom TV put some black shit down and do like this with them dreads, man, you're going to see a whole pile of fucking Parmesan. It's going to be like, bro, Bobby, it's going to be like you in the Olive Garden with the nigga with the little thing. <laughs> 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 This bitch man, come on TV. He got literal crumbs in his motherfucking head. He got crumbs in his head. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, That's a, Yo, bro, so, 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 so you say, so you say, so you say, if Crumb if TV go to Olive Garden, he could get a job real quick. <laughs> crumbs come out this nigga head when he do that shit. Hey, bro, imagine if that nigga get to scratching his head and a whole loaf of bread fall out of his shit. Like, damn, I forgot I even I got a whole loaf of shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, shit. oh man, bro. Dead, man. Hey, he gonna get to scratching his head. Bread oh, gonna man. fall out. Salami meat. Tomatoes. A little midget. A, 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 a pig me. Go a pig me gonna <laughs> fall out there. <laughs> A pig be gonna fall out that nigga With shit. Butter knife. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Out of we don't oh, need to go to out of garden. Oh my god! Oh nigga, I ain't hey. laughed this long so long. Oh, I, I, I gotta do you this all that night now, nah, boy. <laughs> you gonna make that nigga go live, bro? Hey, if a whole nigga. nigga fall out that nigga head, bro, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this man into a series if he fuck with me. He will become the Bomb TV episode two, nigga. I'm telling you, episode three, we'll make that shit a whole Britannica. Cyclopedia Britannica on your ass, nigga. Like, bro, YouTube is so easy to roast you. Nigga, we love roast over here, nigga. This shit good, ain't it, with them carrots? And we've been slow cooking it, taking that, nigga. This is fucking lovely. Nigga, like, yeah, I, and guess what I want Bomb TV to do? Put his niggas on his panel, and let's see if they roasting like this. Don't do it by yourself. Bring your people out like this, too, so we can show that your community full of weirdos and niggas with no swag that stank. Call the wee wee monster. Nigga. The wee wee monster. PP Peace drinkers. power unite. <laughs> Peace power with assembled. <laughs> wee wee monster. Ah! Oh shit, nigga. Not not we don't got the urine union. Uh-oh. <laughs> Urination, boy, oh, out shit. this bitch. Bro, hey, imagine, yeah, yeah, nigga. imagine if that nigga get a cup of pee and then put a little bit of danger on it and drink it, bro. That's what I think that's what yeah. he do. That's like a cocktail for him. That's a frappe, nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, bro. Oh, a frappe with the fucking... No, nah, bro, let's... Now y'all gonna make me think of all the shit we can make with urine. Oh, my God. Imagine how sick you gonna be to your stomach if a nigga show up and be like, yeah, man, I got these new teas, man. Here, here, check got, these out. Nigga be like, all right, check this. Where you hey, get listen. these from? Nigga be like, I got these from your boy, Chrome TV House. You I got, go, I got, oh, I got, my God. God. Oh, my I God. got a pea potato pie. Hey, Bobby. Oh, hey, God. hey, Bobby. The, 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 oh, God. Hey, Bobby. The tea bag. The tea pie, bag. The tea potato pie. Oh, God. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Bobby. The tea bag. The tea bag. The tea bag. Sweet potato pie. Yeah. <laughs> the tea bag, bro. The tea bag is going to be full of dandruff and shit. I'm telling you, look. That hey, nigga make me, me, my, listen, drop, drop. My favorite salad dressing is Italian. I can't fuck with it no more out the crumb TV. Shout out to the sister nature. Go ahead, my nigga. This is badness. So y'all telling me this nigga drink tea. 
That nigga drink pee pee, and he probably eat boo That's boo. Crazy. Urine, urine vinegar, and urine. And urine, urine vinegar, and urine. And urine, Peabody. Yeah. Oh yeah, some, some, some dick. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Now, now I heard of the semen retention, but drinking pee is a whole nother ball. Game. I'd rather retain oh, my shit. semen. I'll retain my semen for a little while, but I ain't drinking a pee for nothing. Either. I can That's go for it. like. How long we talking? What three? But a uh, two months, three months? That's gonna be. Nah, a, them, be them niggas ain't talking about uh, semen retaining like that. Them they talking some but no. all oh, that shit oh, really. Oh, oh, Sanchez, oh, the path semen retention, up, semen hey, retention hey, will hey, lead you down you the path of piss drinking. That's all I'm gonna Bobby, say right there. Oh, look, Bobby, you know I covered the semen retention and debated it. Watch this. Oh, me too. See, it, so, it ain't listen. It ain't just about you retaining your semen. It's about they saying that right but you post the door. Not, oh, yeah, you, you they know. said when you, yeah, we this clown that shit. When you go Let's up go. in a woman, right? Right when you about the bus, you stop. And guess what happens? Right. All that sperm will come back into you and it'll go up into your pineal That's gland. Right. And no. make you have, uh, and I'm no. like these niggas, niggas trying to bust nuts they in their brain. They nothing no. in their brain. No. They nothing in their cell. They nothing in their brain. So I, I, I clout this shit like, bro, <laughs> is this what? Sick? Yeah, it ain't. It's like they don't want they woman to have that nut. They want it. They greedy. Facts. They want that. They want the Rollo pee pee. Tomasi. They want the boo boo. They want the semen. They don't let, can the earth have a boo boo to pee pee and the woman <laughs> have a semen? <laughs> nigga told me, hey Sanchez, I swear, nigga told me, greedy. You really do it right. You don't even pull out of nothing. You just grab your, your you grab your gooch and your balls and you squeeze tight. And you make all that shit. And you don't go. I said what? I said, I said, man, young niggas is out here doing the, I'm convinced, young niggas yo, listen, is doing Bobby, the most in the I'm name of love. I'm convinced, Bobby. I'm convinced these niggas might be mankind or AI. Y'all niggas, 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 y'all 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 Straight up, niggas is saying, niggas is saying, let me get an orgasm, but hold the O. Like, what the fuck? Bro. Niggas say, like, I can feel up the nut in the hollow of my spine and flood the pineal gland with pure light <laughs> juice. Look, I say, I say, I told the nigga, I said, I told the nigga, so your spirit <laughs> chilling in your pineal gland. Oh, look, Sanchez, oh <laughs> Sanchez, <laughs> look, hey, look. Hey, yeah. in your pineal <laughs> gland chilling. Here come, here come this nigga trying to bust nuts up his back. Your spirit, like, who the fuck knocking at the pineal gland, though? This nigga. And the great flood. The Yo, great but no, this a, nigga a trying question. to bust a nut on their spirit. What the oh, fuck, God. nigga? <laughs> Why hey, are you trying to, hey, 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 hold hey, up. Hey, them, hold niggas, them niggas are trying to blow their own brains out. This is not, this is bad. Yeah, I really this had the whole, birth the Holy Ghost. Ooh, hey, look at yeah. this, though. Hey, look at this, though. What happened, though? We still need to know uh, what happened if you retain your semen. Because I know nothing. when I do bust, listen, bro, bro. When I do bust, something take over my whole body. I'll be in a trance and everything. Good. Girl be and shit. Uh, right now, cool. Now, uh, when you hold that shit in, what happens? <laughs> I get mad that listen. motherfucker. I'm going to tell you this. I get mad that I'm motherfucker, bro. <laughs> if I hold my oh, nut in God. and I ever end up looking <laughs> like the niggas who do, fuck that. But why, though? Why, why would I hold it in? <laughs> why? Listen, why? He he listen, listen this is the problem. Y'all niggas want to explore until you explode. Y'all just want to know shit that don't. Nobody in the world, what would hey, happen if Bobby, I put a cat in the microwave? Man, Shut when I heard a nigga... I asked the nigga, I said, why would I want my semen in the back of my brain? And the nigga was like, it's, your semen is like plasma, is liquid light, so it's creative energy. What did that nigga just say piss was? Plasma, didn't it? Fact, didn't uh, I, Sanchez, didn't I just say? The road to motherfucking semen retention will lead you to drinking piss. Piss. It's all the same school of thought. None yeah, of that shit makes sense. Dicks. Nigga, it's guess totally what? No guess what? Guess what's plasma, Sanchez? 
plasma. That's right. it. That's the it. The only thing that's plasma is it's actual plasma. plasma. No, you not finna boo -boo show me a plasma. cup of nut. No, exactly. <laughs> that's plasma. Piss <laughs> plasma. <laughs> shit plasma. When you yeah. shave your fingernails that's and keep plasma. that for you, that's plasma. Yeah, the dandruff in your hair, that's plasma. Oh, that's plasma. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 Hold the, on, so y'all saying... Yeah. Y'all saying the dude <laughs> with the dread said plasma is pee. And that's now, why you should drink look it. like pee. No, it don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it don't. Oh, watch this, right? Don't look Hold like pee. Wait, 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. I ain't gonna lie. You, I'll, I'll play in a drop scent. Plasma and pee are both yellow liquids. But here's what I'm saying. Hear me out. Apple juice is a yellow liquid. Mm. I'm just saying, I can't say because something looked like something, I should drink it. But let, let's go with that. Let's say my pee looked like plasma. So let's drink the pee, right? Guess what else looked like plasma and pee? Gasoline. Let's drink the gas. For the diet, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that ain't no good logic, right? We might be on to something. Let's just drink the plasma. What the hell? We Bro, just had listen. a glass of plasma a day. Hey, that's gangster. Plasma. Yeah, that's gangster right there. That's marketable, too. It, go it's going to go through your digestive system. That's, that's all that's going to happen, nigga. That's <laughs> it. You're going to have a funny <laughs> shit. That's it. <laughs> It got I'm gonna tell you something right now. A, 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 a Sixteen ounces of apple juice. I'm gonna tell you how you know this is a bunch of bullshit. What they teaching? We all are humans that need water to live, and no adult came to you and said, "Hey, little child, this your first cup of water. You need to take a little sip." <laughs> you know, but when it comes to this pee drinking shit. You got to stop with a sip first, right? Because guess why? I'm going to tell you why they tell you that. If this your first time drinking piss and you try to just drink it, you're going to vomit. You're going to vomit. Your body going to do this a nine times out of ten. You're going to ah, you gonna vomit. They tell you take a sip first so you can make your body used to it, ease it in. That lets and you know. we got to get back to balance, too. Because Maybe these niggas be more. doing too much. Like, listen, you don't got to go as far as drinking piss to balance your fucking iron. Because like Sanchez said earlier, why would you put ammonia and all this other dangerous shit in your body just to get iron? You could Y'all trying to tip the scales too far one way and the other way instead of just doing, like I said, molasses and, and motherfucking um, orange juice. And the reason why you don't just drink straight plasma is because that's like pure iron bro you would get an iron mm -hmm. overload for that organs will start to shut down in your fucking body again we trying to correct one problem and then overload it the other way and don't even know that you that ain't how you correct shit you gotta like move in increments until you find a balancing point man them bitches don't oh, even God. know what ph mean man i asked a bunch of pretty girls it was like yeah her ph off. i said what ph mean i don't know I said, y'all exactly. don't know what the fuck PhD is. Y'all some dumb hoes. Oh, God. Yeah, if, them, you, them, if, them if, the if they going to... Go yeah, no, but oh, them the type, Nick. Hey, I don't care what no niggas say. You can't tell me a nigga like niggas like that when the children that was eating they boogers in school. Everybody know when we yep. was little, that was little children where the snot was running right here and they licked it off and they loved that salty taste of that snot. He and they licked their lip all the time and had the ring Bruh. around their lip because they kept licking their lip a lot. And they had a little ring around their lip because they just kept licking their lip. Nasty ass bitch. You crazy. Yeah. She yeah. got a score on her because she keep licking her fucking lip. <laughs> hey, but yes, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, though. If you. It, hey, but salute, salute to everybody on in the panel. Salute, dig. What up, dig? Salute, dig. Salute, salute, I hate to have y'all yeah. niggas on a nigga ass, but y'all niggas will roast a bitch out the goddamn stadium, boy. <laughs> and I'm glad y'all on my team, boy. Hold on. I'm glad y'all boys on my team. Hell yeah. Oh, I just wanted to say this real quick. Someone's got smoke. We've got the smoke, man. 
Listen, no, it ain't it ain't no it ain't no smoke smoke. It's just funny how how okay. he bit off way more than he can goddamn chew. That's funny because he don't fuck with the wrong motherfucker out of the million and trillions of people. He could have wanted to call out and say something about. It. He had to say something about bro Sanchez. Don't this motherfucker know who he fucks in with? He I don't, don't know. understand. He don't hey, understand. Bro. Hey, bro, you he know he dropped the video. Mm-hmm. He dropped the Cloud, video. When Cloud Chase didn't go wrong, he, that's what happened. Oh, when yeah. Cloud Chase didn't go wrong, uh-huh. that's what happened to his ass. Somebody yeah. told him it was another, easy. And, and, and let me, hold let me on, say this. Hold, hold on way. real quick, Kay. Yeah. He, Go he ahead, dropped brother. the video, bro, and he was, like, trying to teach him shit. Like, that nigga was really open. You were <laughs> watching what he was going to be teaching. And he, <laughs> you just got there clowning his ass right away. <laughs> that's <just> funny. <laughs> Like, but he, no, he thought he went deep, though, bro. He started talking and about the Matrix here, the here, womb. Here. You, you know what? Watch this. The niggas saw my video of me clowning Nature Boy and got mad. Then he saw the video of me, all the women. Because you got to remember, when I just did this uterus video, boy, I'm looking at my chat room, the women like, we love you, Sanchez. Watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. The hater watching women. Can the women give your boy some hearts and some love? Let's go. Watch this. We finna piss this hater off. He can't do this because his chat room full of niggas. Full of 50 niggas in his chat. 60 hard legs. Because you teaching your nigga, you part of the weirdo tribe, nigga. Them niggas be hating on your boy. After I did my little thing about the uterus and shit, and I been going in on nature, boy, I, and all the women behind me because they going with the victims of Nature Boy. You niggas defending Nature Boy going with the same red pill brotherhood and you going to drown with that shit. You, and nigga, the real niggas going to be standing in the end. See, they still trying to sell that whole narrative, defending Nature Boy, uh, coming with the whole Egyptian fabric. Bro, don't get mad because I'm doing this shit and I'm, I'm the shit that... Guess what? It should have been a bro Sanchez, you bitch ass niggas. You gate guards. You you let me do it before you. you that's now every nigga wanna talk about what I'm talking yeah. about and challenge me, but you weren't talking about it first. See, that's what I'm saying, nigga. You should have been the man. Why how come Sanchez come along and intercept the narrative? Cause I kept it real, you bitch ass, pee drinking, Malachi York defending ass niggas. Think and that's gonna get you viral. And that shit just these niggas been on YouTube longer than flat power. And we running circles around them niggas. That shit'll cover up. Oh, I bet and, and for and, and for and, and if they drink let me let me say this real quick. If you drinking pee because you look like plasma, bro, let's apply it again. Just like Bobby said, I'm gonna give you another way. Put a little bit of iodine on your water, nigga. That look like pee, but it's actually healthy for you. No, you gotta put ice. You gotta put ice. You know what I'm saying? Piss. You gotta put ice cubes in your piss. Crush the ice. That, you, you know that. Now, 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 now. Hold up, Retton. You know them <laughs> ice cubes gonna um, melt real quick in that hot piss and water it down. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> If the nigga yeah. was saying, uh, you stuck in the Appalachian Mountains and you know you thirsty as hell, boil some pee. I can understand some, some science like but that. that. But that make Y'all it even worse. Me. But that, yeah, this nigga is living like he in a post apocalyptic survival situation, sure drop. <laughs> And he and he, and nigga, it's a water available for him. You got it, sir. Drop. I'm, I'm nigga, dropping. I'm not, I'm, not my pee. I'm not drinking my give, pee give no fl- matter what, nigga. It could be Armageddon, nigga. I'm still <laughs> close to yeah, pop give me, pee. give me Flint. <laughs> get, give me nigga, Flint I water, bro. Water, I drink nigga. Flint, Flint water. water before I even drink that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna find water, nigga. I'm Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motherfucking onion, onion ring smelling ass. But, but also I real that, shit. I'm fight the fight that needed to be fight before I have to stop and drink some piss. I'm but gonna I'm do a, what a man do before I have to piss in a bottle and say I'm gonna drink this. this I'm gonna still surviving for real like a man do. Uh-huh. How about that? Dumb hey, hey, look. Hey, guess what? Dumb. Damn. Drop a bomb. I like that one, nigga. 
dumb TV. Dumb I, TV. I, like a dumb beat. It ain't nothing but the shit. Yeah, dumb nigga. TV. And I'm then we got the bomb TV. Watch this, y'all. I'm going to show you because we really beating and teaching this li little nigga right now. See, because I, I just thought of something that's just ingenious, nigga. Watch this, right? How many of y'all watch them videos where people be stranded in the ocean and all that? I love shit like that. Stranded at sea and you survive. Watch this, right? So yeah, what I, bu I, I bullshit like. you not, and niggas can vouch for me. When you stranded at sea, they never tell you to drink your piss. They tell you to drink little amounts of salt water each day. Not a lot amount of salt water. Little amount of salt water, and you you can get by. Did you know that, guys? Yeah, now, yeah, guess bro. what? So, so they, they saying a human body is most acceptable to salt water, and they don't even recommend you drinking your own piss when you stranded in the ocean, nigga. That's deep. Tell me that ain't a kind of a dagger, though. No, nah, that's a fact. Because you can process the salt out the water, but you can't process the toxins out that piss. Come on, no, man. Right. I knew it was the science behind it. Uh -huh. plus, plus the salt. The, the salt the salt produced saliva. You hear me? The salt produced saliva. So you don't want to overdo it. This is, this is from a nigga that live on an island. I know how to find water. You know what I mean? Even, even, yeah. if, look, look, even, it, look, look, even, look. Oh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. One at a go time, ahead. it's a one liner, and you got it, Kago man. Be ready. Anything your body reject out, you shouldn't put it back in. So you shouldn't drink sweat, piss, or eat shit because your body is getting rid of it for a reason. There's no reason to put it back in. But go ahead, you got it, Kago. Yeah, that's deep. And uh, even like for people that can't retain water that much. They um they advise them to take like a like a little bit of salt and put it on your tongue and then drink water because that will that will make yourself absorb the water faster because he's looking for it. He kind of activate hey. it, you know what I'm saying? So that's oh, yeah. deep. Plus, hey, your okay. body your body in itself, like when you drink water, my nigga, the body takes the water it needs and it's alchemical, like it, it produced the chemical to let out. That ain't to be drunken again. You know what I'm saying? The body already took right. the, the carbon hydrates it needs. It already took the hydrogen it needs. It already why, took the oxygen it why do, needs. That's why, why it's even called weight. You know what yes, I'm saying? Why did, why, did, why did the survivors talk about drinking if he to survive though? Why do they say that? No, Listen, hold on, hold on. and that's that's that's, that's, that's in extreme cases. Listen, exactly. that's in extreme cases. And I just said that the, it's only one way you could do that. You have to Piss in some type of thing. You have to make a. You have to make like a natural yeah, contraption yeah, yeah. to where a you can. Uh, right. No, it, not a feel. Listen, it's it's like condensation. You got to put the piss in something. Then you got to like put a bag over it and then make it get look something else that's gonna catch that condensation or or the separation. It got to sit there for a while. Too. Boil that and that, too. Nah, like if you, you boil it, there. if you boil What's it, you just though? boil it. If you want nah, to right. listen, catch listen, the smoke. listen. You if right, you buddy, boil it, you listen. Catch the smoke. No, I hear what you're saying. After you separate it, you gotta boil the water that's left over. I hear what you're saying. But but the point is you gotta do that is because what the metals and all the toxins in that piss is gonna settle and separate, or it's gonna condensate and it's not gonna be able to uh be in that motherfucking in water part of it. <laughs> Then you I'm, just I'm boil about, that shit. Bro, I'm about to fuck y'all niggas up real oh, quick. Oh, please, man. I can't oh, look at this bro. shit. Bro, oh, look no. at the color. That is not a big bottle oh, of piss. Oh, look at God. that. Bro, look at the color of that shit, bro. Uh, bro. Man. What the fuck? You telling me that ain't waste? You telling me that ain't waste? You telling me that ain't waste? Bro, I can't even look at that knowing what's in there. I can't even look at it. Yeah, my nigga. But hold up, but hold on, but hold up, but hold on, everybody. Look at all of they hygiene's rusty beard, straggly hair. Thank you. Just like that nigga. Thank you. That's what, That's I'm, what saying. I'm saying. Who want to fucking look like that? That's what I'm That's saying. That's not a healthy look. Ain't no bro, it's a bunch of nasty motherfuckers, man. This was so nasty, bro. You know when you piss in something, right, and you seal it. 
That shit oh. still bubble up and ferment. Bro, that shit is damn near uh, like a, a bubble bomb. Like oh when he let God. the lid off that, bro. When he I've unscrewed the lid off of that, he gotta unscrew that shit outside. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all already in the chat room calling that shit Lipton. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. uh, that's that no dark brown. That's tea. that Trish, brisk iced Trish, tea, Trish. nigga. It ain't right, my hey, God, hey. Hey. Bro, the doctor oh, would literally God. tell you, Sanchez. The doctor would tell you if your piss look like this, you need to go to the doctor. Bro, my <laughs> leg. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, bro. Put that in there. Nigga, hey, you're hey, hey, you, uh, you smell like a urinologist. He go, he go. My theory: the reason his piss looked that brown. Cause he's not drinking water. He just keep re-drinking his piss. See what's oh, gonna happen is God. this. He's gonna re-drink his brown piss. It's gonna get even more browner. Even cause nigga, you need to cleanse your body. You can't cleanse it that's if you're hydrating with, with waste. Listen, that, I promise that's you a fucking little cold theory. Cold he ain't never seen no piss that brown. That shit look like Lipton Brist tea. You've I, never I, seen that. That ain't <laughs> real. That look hey, like that, that's man, coffee. Sanchez, that's you, coffee. Bro, you show you bro, show that bro, picture, bro. bro my bro, leg bro. wicked, in, bro. bro Did he drink I, it? As soon as he showed that picture, my leg wicked up, bro. I'm weak. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro, Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fuck book day. My bitch ain't never been around. Come on, yo. I don't know if bro Sanchez really oh, pulled shit. that up. And said, like, hey, let me find somebody holding a piss jar. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's a no unit, piss. nigga. It's a I unit. Don't know if that's, I don't know if that's <laughs> ah. research. But what I'm saying hey. is G shit. I, hold on. I don't know G shit. I, I done piss seen piss look? get that dark. Hold on. What I'm saying is I done seen piss get that dark in a jar. No, you haven't. Hell piss. Turn colors, that shit changed after a while. I'm dead ass serious. Check this out, so diggy. It, it ain't no reason. Check this out, diggy. I'm gonna Hold piss him off. Okay, let me just I'm gonna piss, piss him off. I, I hey, just let me get said, minutes. they ain't never seen brown piss. Piss let in the get... jar and leave that shit in the goddamn closet or somewhere for a goddamn couple weeks, nigga, and see what happened. I'm telling you. You will be surprised. Hey, hey, let me, hey, let me get 30 You know what's so quick. crazy, though? These people oh. going to be drinking piss. They going to be eating boo-boo. And a nigga that's going to still outlive them drinking still reserve. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, hey. my bad. Damn, hey, nah, it's all good. Though. Hold on. Let me drink it 30 seconds, bro, because this... Just because you brought this topic up, man, well, my nigga, okay. you know they saying they drink this shit because it gives enlightenment and it travels up the spine and all that. Ooh. So the word, so the word penis is literally an anagram of spine, like penis and spine. Even the spine is shaped like a penis. So it's a misunderstanding of what the truth shit really is, what enlightenment comes from, you know, bro. And I can even go deeper, bro. Oh, it's sapiens. It, it's also sapiens. Penis this is, nigga, is also sapiens, bro, you know? That's bro, why wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, wait. This nigga baptizing his eyes in pee pee. Look, oh, y'all. No. Whoa. That ain't that ain't I the light that ain't the awakening. Awakening. Hold on. Look, look this me. nigga put this on. nigga got this a miniature nigga, piss wine glass. That, but but that nigga got a little mini holy grail full of piss. <laughs> nah, just so he can be, Oh my nah. god. He, he, he is anointed. Y'all hate him. Nigga, uh, it's just dripping on his hands. Nigga, damn, if that man, nigga open his eye in that motherfucking cup of piss, he gonna see the devil. I guarantee. That bitch trying to look in hell if he got his eyeball in that shit. Hey, hey, that's that's hey, I'll be out there. I'm about to give you a lesson. I'm about to give you a good. Hey, real quick though, man. Hey, let's get back. Hold on, I'm waking up. Let me see y'all back to you. I need you to go back to it, I need you to go back to it, Hold on, bro. Mute your mic, bro. Hey, listen, my bad. My bad for being. Listen, hey, awakening. Go back to that spine and penis doing when you rearrange spine and you get penis. Go ahead back to that awakening because that was. Nah, it's, it's, you know, and that's a, that's a little. That's, that's right a, where drop that's, wanted to be. 
Yeah, I know. We tried to go. We yeah. tried to run past it. Why you think Sanchez yeah, switched the subject? Nigga said, "Oh, hey, fuck, me, fuck me and funny oh. about the piss hey, I shit." Go back to the shit. Hold on. Let me say some real shit. Hold on. Let me say some real shit. Knowledge ass nigga. Say pause. I didn't bring it up to just oh, bring it up. Man. I really, I really yeah, so hey, crazy. listen, listen, listen real quick. Oh, look, look, listen, look, let me, let, let me say. You, I want to really, poo. I really wasn't even <laughs> trying to bring it up. <laughs> that ain't even shit you can even teach, you know, drop. That ain't even shit you can really teach. That's just shit you got to yeah. get to yourself. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the whole yeah. world. No. Listen, whole back to hey, listen, drop. Back Go do your own research. Back to the hold on. Back to the hustle. Yeah, nigga want to know another yeah, nigga's five minutes research. What? Back to the hustle. Yeah, hold on. Back to the hustle. One mic. One mic. One mic. One mic. Hey, 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 Bobby and them with the niggas that was in class and the teacher said, yeah, but, but, vagina. And they'd be like, Ooh, nah, nah, I drop, yeah, nah, I drop. Nah, this ain't nothing like that. Nah, that's different. This ain't nothing like that. Hey, back to the show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Oh, go ahead, bro. No, I'm saying uh, let one one mic go. Awakening minds, you can go first, and I'll go out. Yeah, here. like I really brought that shit up. Like I ain't want to bring that shit up, but that's just the world we live in, where the knowledge of the spine they flipped it to the knowledge of the phallus, the penis. Penis and spine is the same word. You right. It's even. I like that. It's even. It's even sapiens, bro. Like why them niggas say, "Oh, we homo, homo sapiens." No, y'all niggas just homo. Like you know, I. But so no, I you, to you hold up, but you <laughs> right because check it out, right? Um, they said that the obelisks mean that the pharaoh get to resurrect through the obelisks, but the obelisk is really the spinal cord. It's the Jedi pillar, and they trying to make it the dick. You right? Big you right, fact. Man. So. I just wanted to clarify that I'm a nigga. I swim in pussy. I eat pussy. I love pussy. Yeah. But I know knowledge, you know, and it it it, it got to be the right time. Well, to watch that this. Watch this. Up. Watch this. My brother awakening minds. Just like the dick got to enter the pussy, the fucking spinal cord got to enter the pineal gland. Let me show yes, y'all something bro. real quick. Let's go. Watch this real bro, quick. Watch I, I this real it, quick. I call it spineal gland, though, bro. But keep going, my nigga. Watch this. Our spinal cord goes all the way up to our brain stalk. Hold on. I ain't, I ain't mean to get this. Hold on. What happens is if you look at that zero and one, that's the man and woman. But I'm going to show you something real quick. And this will be quick. The man and the woman, right? Look, here go right here. The spinal cord and the third eye. That's where consciousness resides. The little pole, it represents the spinal cord, and the black hole represents the third. It's this right here. I ain't reaching with this. I can show you some shit now. Hell no, nah, you ain't reaching, my nigga. The whole thing, when they show you the black hole with the light, bro, that is the spinal cord and the pineal gland and the brain and all this shit right here what they should like this right here this is the left and right hemispheres of the brain right here they call it saturn time that is this in the brain not in the mind the mind is above time mind over matter i'm telling you this whole body the brain all look i ain't gonna go that deep though what i'm saying is this um we was talking about the spinal cord and all that shit, zero and one, it's the same shit. But look, I, ain't, hey, bro. I, I don't know what's Nobody's going really on in the background. Smoke. Yeah, somebody got some background shit going on, like with their mic on. But I wanted to say this, man. I can clown this dude all night, but I've been live all day, man, and I need to get the fuck off of here. But I will say this, man. It's Friday. And y'all ain't hit that cash app in the chat room, but appreciate y'all. We've been going live four hours, and we went like two, three hours on flat power. But um, yeah, salutes to the people that supported the show. 
and all that. I know y'all don't want me to end this shit. I'm going to keep it going, man. But y'all, look, the Cash App is pinned to the top of the chat room. To my panelists, guess what? I'm going to turn the mic over to y'all. Salutes to the chat room and everybody in the building. We're going to roll for a little while longer. Hey, much sure. respect, my nigga. Hey, ho, much respect, though. I appreciate you pulling that, even tying it right away with the zero and the one, the nine. You know, but just keep this in mind, my nigga. I just brought it up, the spine. They they desecrated and give you the knowledge of, you know, the other shit, you know, but it's also sapiens, you know, so just keep that in mind, my nigga. Much respect, all right? Hey, bro, Sanchez, you got somebody mm -hmm. named Dolo who's on the panel. He said he got smoke. He said, you, he said, you're going to like the smoke he got for you. Hey, well, let Dolo speak. Go ahead, Dolo. Now, well, yeah, I was bringing and it up. As, as, as Dolo get ready, you got to understand the chakras is, is, is in the vertebrates. It's not it's not in the, in the front of your body. So when they show you them, them little balls that represent the chakras, that's the vertebrates, right? Never mind that part. Is, is dude ready? He said he got smoke. Let him let him bring the and smoke. And which vertebrae is the chakras? I don't know. I don't know why you the put smoke. that ugly ass picture up there when I got some fly ass pictures. That show you a hate. <laughs> it's in your blood. You can't help yourself, bro. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to bro, that shit uh, Look, vertebrae is dude. the chakra, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that. Uh, yeah. Now, awakening. Now change, what now awakening? What my... vertebrae is the chakra, yeah. in, nigga? So I can know. Is it the thirty third or the twenty second? <laughs> There's so many of them bitches. I just hey. <laughs> hey. nigga who's counting, nigga. A nigga didn't look. A nigga didn't cut open a nigga back and said one, two, three, four. That that fourth, that fourth vertebrae. That that go to first chakra. <laughs> what, count on four. Get to hey, about the twelfth hey, one. Hey, then it's another. Just, Chakra. Hey, what just I happened mean, here is I just laced the hater up. That, that, yeah, that, 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 that you said the no, nigga. You said we got to be with the with the we got to be with the PP with PP thinking. Nigga say the chakras is in the. Nigga say the chakras is in the vertebrae. Yeah, you stupid person. How where it, it, bro? Where, where it in the vertebrae? Where, 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 where at? Like, I'm supposed to pull person. a chakra out and transfer it to another body. How? Because how is it in the vertebrae? We're talking about man. vibration and frequency. Bro. Hey, man. Hey, hey listen, bro. No, exactly. Right, He's trying to make it. Thank you, you Awakening. He don't even get that. That shit saying. is an energy. It ain't in the front or the back of your body. You can't get your body. you Hey, let me no, get no, 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 no. <laughs> it it reverberates. It reverberates no, you through your whole talk, body. How you about that? You it reverberates hey, through bro. your whole essence, through your entire you being. Matter of fact, it's 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 what make up your light body. If you want to be exact, it's what make up your light body. All right, now cool. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, it'll probably be a better representation of your nervous system. Anything. It's best. It's best for me to tell you to shut the fuck up so I don't spaz on bro. Straight up, bro. Now, you get mad, bro. You get mad. Why you get mad, bro? Don't get mad, bro. Don't get mad because your mic, your mic kind of got this. Hold on, hold on. Well, I don't get mad because your mic, your mic kind of got this. Hold on. Well, I cut the bullshit. What sir? Hey, that what surgeon removed the chakra? No, because my I had some people have back surgery before. So, no, awakening. My pop had to have back surgery. Well, I did, and you know, my pop, my pop fucked with Dale Blair, so he wouldn't have got that back surgery if Dr. Blair wouldn't have told him, nigga, don't let him cut on your back. They gonna fuck up one of your shots. You got to move this spine. There you go. He can't even move his legs because that's a circuit that go down his spine. These is uh, in your vertebrae. These right. control every movement in your body. And yeah, cool. your body ain't got nothing to do with your chakras. Your dumb though. Ass up and learn. Ain't got nothing though. to do with your chakras. All right, cool. I'm gonna expose you as the bitch you is. You gonna go learn ahead. That's here. That's here. Stay on top. Of cool, 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 cool. Stay on top. Yeah. Of it. I'm oh. not yelling. I oh. notice how I never yelled that drop. I never. 
have a girl. Where the nigga that want to smoke, though? Where that nigga? Now we got smoke right here. This dude is a bum. Bro, he a professional, so I mean. Okay. This shit is professional. He do it. He great with it. He write notes. Dude, in his what's head. up, man? Is you gonna give us the? Is you gonna give us the what's the name or what, right, man? Bro. What hey, you gonna listen, do? Man? Hey, put a one in the chat if Bobby be trolling right now. Nah, bro. I don't be trolling. Drop. I do not be trolling. Oh, bro. bro. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the chakras is a line with the vertebrae. You're saying we're vertebrae. Sir, drop. Hold on, man. Vertebrae. It's It's 33 vertebrae. I want to know what chakra is the vertebrae. You you got to shut the fuck up. All right, now, cool. It ain't no Uh which vertebrae. Right. Which vertebrae is it in? Drop. All right, right, cool. Well, if you look at the little chart, and then you probably can signify which vertebrates they talking about. But when they show you this chart of the shot, not probably. Is it, man, set your dumb ass up and learn something, Bobby. This dude is retarded, bro. He is super you, All right, cool, 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 cool. Now, now, now. Everything that's in your spine is mm. connected to your brain. That's that's the crawl, Dad. That's the reptilian. If I snatch your whole skeleton out and lay it down, you will see the lizard with the spine connected to the brain. But never mind Hold that. Up. Hold up, never man. mind. Hold up. What? Don't help. Don't they, help they give, the no, 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 no. Man. They give, they Let this me, man get this. Shut this, your I, dumb ass yeah, up. Saying, and learn me something. Too. Quit they're asking me questions, bro, into the yeah. class. Slow down, bro. This is crazy. Hold on. Everybody, they giving me tools in the chat room for the sound. Hold up a second. Let me Thank let you. me do something. Hold on one second. Let me reset the sound. Hold up. Okay, mic check. If you can hear me, we back rolling. Let's get it. Side, bro. I, I just want to know yeah. if the chakras, bro. hey, now awakening. To my knowledge, if the chakras represent the toroidal energy that's around us and surround our light body, how is that even represented by anything that's physical to the body, like a spine, I, I, a nervous system, you. or anything else? It's the shit where I need to be talking, but they got, but no, no disrespect to drop. But you know, this your boy expertise, man. I like these qu- kind of questions. So I would like hey, to- Hey, mute uh, me up, my phone fucking I, up. I, yeah, I like to answer that, man, if dropped on mine. He got to mute up, cause that music- No, is- mute me up, my phone fucking up. All right, hold up. All right, so I'm gonna I'm a answer you in more than one way, Bobby. Hey, and Sanchez, real quick. Uh-huh. They was putting the tools because Drop said put a one if if uh if Bobby is a troll. Why do you oh, got a picture of me and my sister yeah, up so there? They put, this yeah, nigga they put a bitch. Go ahead, all. bro. Let's this not, nigga let's not do bitch, that. Bro. Come on, let's keep that shit funky, man. Respectful and just, you know, for your boy. At both parties, man. And just but check this out, right? My thing is this, right? Your seven chakras correlate to seven main organs it's called an endocrine system uh if you give me a minute i'll pull it up hold on he said how did the seven chakras the energy field around your body if i'm not mistaken how that relates to uh anything that's uh physical that's a good question i'm 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 going to um here it is here so for every major chakra up and down the spinal cord there's a major organ that exists on that particular layer of the body. So if you go all the way down, the major organ would be the sex organ. And you know, if you go up from that, then the major, or it's basically a major organ, right? On each one of these height levels, like dimensional planes, you know what I'm saying? And each one of them major organs that we call in the endocrine system correlate to the area of these chakral energies. You know what I'm saying? So the thing with that is not only can we see the physical manifestation of these chakras in the forms of the endocrine system, the central nervous system, we can also see how the uh, spiritual 
energy of these chakras bleed into our physical reality, being the fact that the chakras are nothing but energy and motion. We call that, yeah, we call that emotion. So when a person say, man, I'm heartbroken, that's an emotion. They don't mean that the heart in their chest is broken. Otherwise, they'll be dead. What they mean is that I feel some pain in my heart, but they're not talking about their physical heart. They're talking about their heart chakra. So when a person say, I got butterflies in my stomach, that feeling that you feel of butterflies in your stomach, that ain't really in your stomach. That's in your fucking lamb chakra, which they call the Svajjana chakra. I can't even pronounce it. But when, when a per see what I'm saying? When you say that uh, my, your sexuality, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm aroused to this or you're, you're turned on. Being turned on ain't just a physical act. It's a spiritual one, too, because you got to visually do this. For example, like with... You, you see something that stimulates you sexually. You can have an idea that, that don't stimulate you sexually. It stimulates you in the pancreas area, what they call that, that sacrificial chakra, I think that is. That's the place where we say, man, she gave me butterflies in my stomach. I got the, the, that gut reaction. That ain't talking about a stomach reaction. It's, this is not happening to your physical stomach. That's some energy in the area of the pancreas that you feel, and you call it butterflies in my stomach. That's just like a person that feel pride in their chest. They say, man, I got too much pride in my heart to let a nigga bitch me. How do they know they got pride in their heart? And don't you know pride ain't nothing physical? So how do, can they, I can see if they say I got water in my cup. They say I got pride in my heart. They're speaking of the heart as a container for something that's holding pride for them, like a cup holding water. That's showing you they ain't speaking of the physical heart. They're speaking of the heart chakra. I got a lot of pride in my heart, man. I can't let a nigga play me. See, a nigga like that is saying, look, my heart chakra, he got a lot of pride in it. Pride is one of the seven deadly sins. So a nigga that's talking like that, he going to die quick because he's saying my pride rather die than let a nigga play me. That's in my heart chakra. That's a seven deadly sin. This can go deep. You know what I'm saying? But, but the, I love the panel and the questions. Black motherfucking power. But dig this. You absolutely right. And all them signals. Go down the spinal cord, bro. Oh, everything, everything you just said is sex, but it's communicated through the spinal cord. And it's the only point I'm trying to make the importance, importance of it and the vertebrates. And <clears throat> somebody tried to make mockery of it. And I just wanted to spit in his face for making mockery of it. But <laughs> it's like, it's like, bro, this shit gotta stop, dude. You not going to just put my sister, my sister ain't got no YouTube, bro. Why you got her, my picture with her on there? See, this the type of shit that'll get you niggas fucked up and y'all think this shit. Hey, I'm going I'm to back out. Y'all be Yeah, yeah. yeah he was going in on the truck final chord. It ain't that you wrong, bro. Bobby was just asking you, can you show me where? Like, it was an advanced question fucking with you, but it's all good, man. Yeah. But bro just yeah, broke yeah, this yeah, bro yeah, just yeah, broke yeah. this shit down brilliantly and I ain't want the people to miss what bro was just talking about. That was that was brilliantly, you know? Everything he yeah, just no, said. No, that that's was, why that's that why was. the church, that's why the church even used organs oh. and shit too, you know. So man, if we I, Nikola Tesla, man, even though I think he was another tether too, bro, you know, like he had a lot of secrets and shit, but a lot of his shit, mm -hmm. man, that ain't just shit you can just learn right away. A lot of his shit was given to him to be Nikola Tesla, too, though. But, mm -hmm. you know, just like how we talked about Sebi and all these other ones, I got smoke for Tesla, too. The fact that his name Nikola Tesla, that's a whole nother story. But I mean, I, like I mean, you got to understand, you, you got to understand, bro, that his his goal at the end, you know, he consumed himself. And just want to make, want to make, want to show everybody how brilliant he is, and if that will be 
making weapons to destroy human humankind, he will do it. So you know, he he up at the end of the day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that does not mean. Real quick, because K Gomez, you did bring up K bro the game of uh K Gomez, you did bring up the um the reflection when bro had brought up the triangle when we were on um flat power. That's the other mm -hmm. half of the triangle bro was talking about the invisible world, how they always sure. depict it and reflect it though in water. They always put it over water and shit like that. It's Push showing you the invisible. Like as much as you can touch the physical world, you can also interact with the invisible world. Do you know what I'm saying? And the Egyptians, they know this shit too, you know, which is just thought. That's why the their God of scribes in all their writing, all their statements, which is just testament. Statement is testament. The old testament is just the new statement. You get it? You see what I'm saying? It's always uh, gonna for reflect. Sure. You mm -hmm. on point, bro. Mm -hmm. It's the like, you know it's crazy. They symbolize all this shit into the tetrahedron, bro. You bro this shit on the other day with the solar and the earth tetrahedron, the triangles forming that shape. That shit is, man, that shit is electric, man. I, I, you know I can keep going on. But, Kay, I'm glad you jumped in because you did bring up that triangle. And For the years. reflected bottom is the energy in motion world. You know what I'm saying? Like nah, our thoughts sure. really influence the reality we're in. You know what and, I'm saying? Like, and, real and, and awaken in mind. That's why they don't understand when, when we talk about that the ancestors knew the, the key to life and, and, and free energy and how the, the spirit world work. You know what I'm saying? Because they know they how do you how are you gonna tell me they just gonna build a pyramid on water just cause? Nigga, they know these things, bro. Just this just how, just like uh the Chicha Issa uh pyramid where you can see a snake every time the tongue comes around at 365 days. You can see that shit, bro. That well, you they, know what? You know what? Hey, hold on, hey, hey, because I don't want you to say the three hundred and sixty-five days again. My it's bad. Really no, my three, bad. Nah, it's really three hundred and sixty because each time the sun has to shine through that hole to where they say, "Oh, it's three hundred and sixty-five days." It's a gradient. You know what I'm saying, my niggas? So it's sure. really three hundred. That snake, the sun, the moon, the reflections. That shit is only gonna reflect in three hundred and sixty degrees. There's no 365 sure. degrees. That's not an equal circle. So you're and right. For, and, for, and for motherfuckers that think that that proves the, the globe, that does not prove the globe, my nigga. Yeah, that, I, that, that, globe, that does really. prove more. Yeah, that does prove more the flat earth and the fact that um, di um different tribes and, and civilizations believe that there was a snake in the middle of the uh, uh, of the earth. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's that's sacred. But you know that's that's sacred. Uh, go ahead, brother. I'm my bad. There you go. You usually describe yeah. it better than and me, that's bro. The yep. shadow, that's the shadow world, the reflective world, the the the, the serpent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. And it, it's crazy because that's the arc, you know, that's like the, the yellow brick road. That's the that's the knowledge. That's what's really teach you about the Toronto field. You breaking it down in the present. So if you're breaking down motion in the present, it stands still. It's present. That's even the NASA serpent tongue. It's the zenith. It, it's the tethering line, bro. You know, but it's you in time learning the true shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my bad for the twos. I was just pulling this up, telling them that go to serpent in the middle of the garden right there. It's the uh, hyperboloid, the center of magnetism, the sine wave in the middle of the earth. Like, if you look at this, this, this Toroida field, let me show y'all some. Watch this. This is what our earth is doing. This aurora borealis all of these lights that you see that's going toward the North Pole, this is like the uh, finest sort of plasma in our create. It's the light of creation is what I call it. And basically, you know, like uh, green screen, 
this is sort of the, the you know, in the mate. Let me show you some. They show you this in the Matrix, right? It's like this is the real shit behind creation. Like this is the green writings. That they give you in the matrix. But check this out, right? The but the thing about it is this, right? When they talk about the serpents and the genies, look, all of the Aurora Borealis lights are coming in from all around the earth toward the North Pole, like you pulling the sink drain out your kitchen sink and watching all of the water go down it. This is what's happening at the North Pole right here. You see at the top of this Taurus field, how, how all of the energy, matter of fact, let me pull one of these up and show you all this. It's like the top of an apple. How the apple got a hole at the top of it and um, the shit go down into like a little pit. You going deep, bro. This is what's happening at the North Pole right here. All of the, 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 the plasma energy, like real holographic, the light of creation that's making the hollow spirit. What I'm telling you is the light that you see calling the northern lights, that's really the light of creation. That's the light right there. That's the writing on the wall. That's what's going into the North Pole, and that's what's around at the edge. Put it this way. If you was to go to the Antarctic ice ring to the barrier, you'll see this same green light making like a cage, a wall. And I put up a video game earlier, right? When you go to the end of the map, it got a green wall blocking you with the matrix writing just like this. They know what I'm saying. This is what's creating a Taurus field. You see this? So what we seeing at the North Pole is the light of creation going into the uh, center of the earth to be recycled just like this. This is what the northern lights is at the top. And don't you know that the ancestors said that these streaks of light, each one of them is what they call a Nagini. Man, I can't make this up. Hold on. I'm going to show you something real quick. Watch this. Here's what happened. People say we reptilians, we serpent people like that stanky ass bitch named Crumb TV who I want to smack up, right? He say shit like that because he don't know shit with his pseudo funky ass. Now watch this right, nigga. Here go, yeah. um, here, here go, here go why they think we serpent people. This is why, nigga, because we knew that our soul will become a streak of light that return home through the aurora borealis. Our ancestors say your soul is like a serpent and it goes through the North Pole hole like a snake going home into its borehole. Each of these streaks of light behave like a conscious entity. It do what it wants. See, the, if you ever watch the Northern Lights, each of these streaks of light act like an independent snake on the ground. It's doing what it wants. It don't act like nothing else we see on earth. It's like light with a consciousness. And the ancestors said the northern lights was their ancestors going home. And they said their ancestors look like this right here. Bitch, talking about we some reptilians. You niggas don't understand symbolism and personification. That's why I'm that nigga. That's why, nigga, I swear, boy, I don't like them pseudo-ass, stanky-ass well, every time I think about that nigga, I get flared back up. Boy, I'm the wrong nigga to be. I'm a whole grudge, nigga. nigga. I'm a whole a grudge, and I'm a really make you the op, nigga. You, you the ops. You said I'm the ops, nigga. The moment you went live saying I'm the enemy, boy, and you let me know it's up like that, boy, you can't even apologize for this, nigga. It's on, nigga. It's on. Ain't no apologies or nothing. Man, ain't you had genuine respect for this nigga, bro? And, and that's why I fuck with you, my nigga. You, you pointing out the bullshit. This nigga is selling pay-per-view tickets saying he's beefing with you. And like, time out, do that and, at? and talking about he personally know me. I, now, person, guess, now, I know you off so, camera, bro. He get, even said off camera, but, but, but you know what's so deep about it? The niggas that's on this panel now, 
Most of these niggas on the panel with me right now been rocking with me for well over four, five years. Easy. I just met Crom TV within a year. And you talking about you personally know me and all of these niggas on this panel won't even say they personally know me and I know them way longer than you. They know more about me than you, nigga. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Shit, that's some real clout chasing. That's some real, yeah, I want to be part of some shit. I want to be attached to that man. Nigga, you don't know me, nigga. I ought to play that T.I. song for your bitch ass, nigga. You don't know me. But when you see me on the internet, you don't know me. Like, what on the Wait, black bro, black you know the nigga's a cloud chaser when he got John Farrell say, saying, go, to, go watch Crumb TV, nigga. You know you paid Farrell for that shit, bro. How much you paid oh, Farrell okay. for that promo? Hey, nigga. Hey, you know how, <laughs> hey, not because y'all you know he clout chasing when he fucking with bro Sanchez. Cause bro Sanchez really? ain't got shit to do with what they be really on over there. Now when he uh, like listen, you gotta peep. That's the same dude. Like bro Sanchez say any of the hotels, any of these type people. That man has goddamn say hello to every goddamn language but the real motherfucking niggas that that still out here getting it. He know how to say greetings and meet every goddamn body out here, but the real folk out here getting it out here for real now. You feel me? Your everyday man for real. He yeah. trying to learn every language but how to talk to the real folk. On top of the fact that when you hit, when he do try to go and shoot something out here, you shooting in the dark. Because once again, out of all of the people, I'm talking about a million, some trillion things he could have been doing with his life. Why you fucking with Bruce Sanchez? And, this and, and I wouldn't even, it, but you, you know, you know what's crazy? What's crazy about what you saying? I ain't gonna it's lie. Bad, Sometimes I start with niggas because it's just so unbearable to see them scamming like Billy Carson, like how even JT the Pocket Watcher called him out. Some niggas like right. Farrak, Farrakhan, Elon Musk. I'm gonna call them niggas out even though they ain't calling me out, right? But I'm fighting the big guys now. But see, nigga. I ain't call you out. And I guess I'm your Elon. I'm the big guy you got. Like, and you didn't let me know this when I was on your channel. What make me mad about it is like, I ain't know you felt this way. And now I'm that much angry because it's like, this bitch ass nigga was secretly hating on me the whole time. Like, boy, yeah. I'm telling you right now, internet make it so safe for haters to, to, to coexist with real niggas. But I'm going to say right this, though. Here is what I'm saying about the Northern Lights. When you in the hospital and you alive, this is what it looked like. You see this green line? Because that represents your soul being on the checkerboard. Look at the, what I'm showing you. Can you see the checkerboard behind it? The, the, the checkerboard, the grid pattern. This is your soul on the earth grid. Your soul is the green line. That's the Nagini. This is what your soul is. When your soul leaves the earth, guess what happened um, to this grid line thing? It flatlined. Ain't nothing there no more. Your soul is the vibratory sine wave that they're recording on this machine. And it looks like a sine wave, like DNA, like the, the, like the Zeus lightning bolt. When that leaves your body, you don't see nothing else on this machine. This little striggly line literally represent your soul. And when you die, they, this don't be there no more. And if they say, where did it go? I'm going to say, go find him at the Northern Lights. That's where his little green striggly line went. It went they from here to They call it a heart monitor. Literally. Right. You see what I'm saying? And the heart chakra is what color? Green. What green. I'm saying? I... What Becky at, bro? Real talk. Because look, when they talk, like, look, like look, 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 real quick. When they talk about the serpent wrapped around the pole, that's what these green streaks of light are doing. These green streaks of light are going to the North Pole to make a big braid like this. That's how the serpent get wrapped around the pole. That's the kundalini around the spinal cord. I can show it to you. 
My bad, bro. Here is the kundalini around the spinal cord, which is literally your soul climbing up the North Pole, Jacob's Ladder, to get up out of here. The serpent is your soul. Bitch-ass niggas like Crumb TV is talking about, we reptilians. Bitch, your soul was personified as a serpent, you dumb, non-deciphering, stanky, piss-breath motherfucker. I swear I don't <laughs> like this nigga, boy. <laughs> I don't yeah. like this nigga, boy. You, I swear that boy, oh. fuck, man, this man fucked up playing with me, bro. I swear you, every nigga that ever played with me gonna regret it, man. Hey, hey bro. Bro. Oh, go ahead, bro. Whoever talking, go ahead. Uh, nah, I was about to say that's some knowledge drinking piss won't get you. <laughs> that piss got his brain fucked. You can't decipher like this when you drinking pee pee. Hey, look, you know where I got that dumb TV from? Because, yeah, it means shit. But if you know how a dumb beetle move for real, they look for the scraps. They look for the leftovers. They cherish that shit. They turn the shits of the world into something more cherishable just for their home type, type shit. If you are, if people know about scarabs and beetles and shit like that, for real, for real. See, if some folks just look how they look. Don't get this shit twisted. Everybody get deep on this panel. That's why I be trying to, you know, make sure everybody knows. Some folks legit falling back on the dumb shit, getting to the real. Listen, I call them. I'm dumb, because if you even peep how he put any of his shit together, I've been peeping that motherfucker. He thrived off of scrappy shit. Tasha K of the motherfucking conscious community, nigga. He and I'm telling you right now, bullshit. but see, the thing, yeah, that's, that's, that's really the only thing I don't <laughs> like about the internet, because I swear to God, bro, I know this is all internet shit, but the shit it he's is. doing, the shit he's doing, Man, if I saw dude in real life and this on my grandma on. on everything, nigga, I would slap blood in your teeth, boy. I swear you will be talking with, you will have blood tinted on your front teeth, nigga, when you talk. And you won't do shit, nigga. And you will get Therefore. beat up real talk. You will get beat up playing with me, boy. And what I'm, why I'm mad, because you selling some shit with my face on it, lying to people like you know me personally. Boy, I'll stump your ass in real life if I saw you, boy. <laughs> I swear to God, boy. No, but see, no. Put some don't shit understand. like that. They, playing that with me like that. that. Hey, no, you that's know what? That's what I'm back, saying. Dog. Like, I know we joking and laughing and shit, but this uh, is DJ, turn on yeah. Kirk Franklin Stomp. That you know, this is literally the yeah, shit you no. smack the piss out of you. That type you know, nobody really fuck with, Bobby. You know that, bro. I, I ain't saying that for real, but I'm just saying he that type, bro. He gonna he gonna do all the weird shit in the real world, bro. While real folk doing real things, and then finally he gonna try to boogie up and get cool with you and shit. Because he ain't, ain't really about nothing for real. But he got a real hey, shit, dog. Hey, 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 he got a real hey, shit, dog, Diggy. He got a real, real quick, dog, and then I'm going to let you get it. He got a real shit, dog, Diggy. I don't give a fuck about this nigga or any nigga that follow them. That just let me know what side of the field that I'm standing on. I'm making good decisions. I'm not trying to even convince niggas that's following this nigga or even believing that. About. You got to have more discernment, my brother. And as far as this, like what well, Sanchez is right, this the internet, bro. This the internet. It don't even move me that much because, like he said, nigga, niggas like this in real life do not. Come on, man. It just, it just, it just become entertainment at some point. You entertainment, brother. It's clearly entertainment because you trying to sell pay per view tickets. You trying to sell pay per view tickets when niggas is on here calling out real pedophiles, real, shit, real sexual assaulters real scammers and you trying to sell pay-per-view tickets because of what you don't like somebody you could have just said that shit, oh, nigga. That shit on, a lot of niggas oh, right right around awakening a lot of niggas yeah, I don't like sir drop nigga that, i could now, say that shit then let's know, keep moving right, you know nigga? i was joking around no, shit when i say point, you know i was joking around hold on diggy i was joking around and shit when i say Look. smack the piss out of a nigga but i really mean that shit bro this is really the right. shit you would literally, literally. Smack the shit out of a nigga. I will smack literally. Hey, you know what though? I like I gotta hold on. Let me drop that man a bomb. Hold up.
I yeah, like that fire. nigga. That nigga said smack the piss out of this PP drinker. <laughs> and guess me, what, bro, nigga? Wait. And we going <laughs> to see bro. if me and you get in the ring, do you got an advantage if you drink your pee pee before the fight and I eat my Wheaties? I'm going to just and eat I my Wheaties. You drink your pee pee. Man, I beat the boo boo out there, boy. Hey, hey, this is a side boy. note, but it's a it's a it's a it's a show on Netflix called Raising Dion, but it's the, the whole show is completely predicated upon the Aurora Borealis. That the whole show is about the Aurora Borealis. It starts like that, and it I don't even know where the fuck the show oh, goes. I ain't seen shit in a while. But Raising Dion on Netflix, watch that shit. It's about the Aurora Borealis. Just hey, to, you know, just hey, a, just glad, a random, it's just a random statement. Reality, if you want to watch bro. a good show, that's a good one. Raising Dion. Hey, bro, it's crazy. It's a black you little boy. Brought up, you brought up that a snake bore into his hole. That that was fire, nigga. That was dumb, stupid. That's why yeah, they that call Borealis. it Borealis. Yeah. Exactly. That was and dumb, then, and, and never forget now, ball, not, 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 now. Now, wait a minute now. The word Aurora is the word Aurora. aurora. And, and that's what I'm saying. Nigga. Because guess what? Our auras, what's going into that uh hole at the North Pole? When we die, your spirit leave your body. That's like, uh, hold up, but watch this. That's like stripping away one of these kashas, one of these layers. When you strip it away like a bed sheet, you pulling a blanket off the bed. And that gets sucked down a vacuum hole. Now that's how you get mm -hmm. this little. Wait, wait a minute, man. Hold on, guys. Remember what we do? We have a sheet with the ghost. Now the thing that's the sperm cell. What happens is when light travels, it looks like a comet, like an asteroid. But see if the light is green, cause the Earth chakra. Look at where we at. That's the green layer. When we're leaving this realm, I'ma show you all the pictures. Look. It's the Emerald City. They cut the crook, all that Emerald City. What's leaving all of the shit that we learned in this simulation, it's going to be the good and the bad is going to come together. And it's going to become the green chakra. Now, if you want to see what I'm saying, watch this. Why I say that. Here's why I say that. If you look at the human chakras, right, in the middle. See, this is how you got to look at them, right? The three chakras above the heart chakra are your high chakras. The th three chakras below it are your low chakras. Now look, the heart chakra ain't high or low, it's, it's neutral. Now the three chakras above the heart, the energy of those chakras, right? The energy of those chakras are traveling down. And the three chakras below the heart, the energy of those chakras is traveling upward. This right here creates this little Taurus field that I keep showing y'all right here. How you got energy going up and down this, this Taurus field. Let me pull it up. This is what your heart is. Your heart is the place in the middle of the threshold or crossover point. These two bubbles represent the high and low chakras. This dot in the middle represent the heart that splits them it creates ups and up and down but if you look at this image you got a triangle point up you got a triangle point down because the all of the chakras below the heart that energy is rising up that's the root chakra energy that's coming from the ground beneath your feet then you got energy coming in from the stars dropping down into your body from the crown chakra that is the higher self. And then the shit coming up from the feet is the lower self. You need both of them. So one keep you grounded. One keep you connected to the heavens astrally. But check this out. We don't just got to be grounded. We got to be sky too. What is the opposite of grounded? I don't know. I'm going to call it sky, nigga. Because part of you got to be connected to the sky. And that's your crown chakra, but then your feet connected to the ground. It's a polarity to everything. And that's all I'm saying. Here, it'll make that six-pointed star, solar tetrahedron, earth tetrahedron. Yes, sir. And there you go. But, and there that we go. That was fire. Hey, bro. And, you know, I sum all this up to the demi-urge, which is the medi. The medi is demi. Demi is the medi-urge. That's the inertial plane, you know. 
But pull the tetrahedron shit up too, bro. The one with the solar and the earth. The soul ra, which is just your chakras, you know, but but go ahead though, my nigga. That was that's 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 merging the motherfucking invisible and the material world, you know, you know what I'm saying? The merge, the great merger. So you you got it though, my nigga. You you killed it. But if you can pull up that tetrahedron, tetrahedron, which is also the horn god. Damn, boy, you got it though, my nigga. You got the key. Ooh. This nigga Crumb TV ain't on your level. Beat this nigga up. You ugly as hell. Yo, salutes to everybody, man. I appreciate y'all brothers for coming out. It's been a long day of streaming. I got to get out of here, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We're going to be getting it in this weekend. You already know it, man. I've been putting in the work. I love what I do. This is passion. And be prepared for more good content. I'm going to have you laughing, learning, all that shit. Every chakra, I'm going to hit every button. Laughing, learning, crown, all that shit. Peace and love to my panel because your vibe attract your tribe. And listen, man, this community is fire than all the other ones. All the other ones are weirdos, pedo protectors, niggas debating about sky daddies and all that. You part of an elite group. You part of an elite group, man. And I just want you to know that. Salutes to everybody. We out this bitch, man. Flat mother. Don't forget, man. We out.